That's fine. That I'm not muted. I do what I want. Thanks, Flixie. It's also, I say Michael Murray, not my glory. Michael Murray! That's what I said. It's 920. What's up, stupid idiots? How are you? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> That's how T-Pain starts all his streams. That's good to know that you guys are not as cool as T-Pain's audience. Got it. <laughs> Although he does it differently. He goes... He goes, wait, I just woke up. This probably won't go well. How does he do it? Where's my... That's one, that's one, that's one, that's one. Oh, fuck me that's in the... That's one. This, this, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> Thank you, Flixie, for the 100 one. gifted subs. That's one. Is this why you sad that's you missed one. the last stream? This why you sad. Fucking English, this, dude. This, Is this why you're sad you missed the last stream? One. Thank you so this, much, bro. That's one. This, that's one. Flixie is definitely not going to Evo. That's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. This. 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 That's one. This. 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 Thank you so very much, bro. This. That's one. That's one. This. 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 That's one. That's one. That's one. This. That's one. That is very, very, very generous. Thank you. Are you top of the leaderboard now? That's one. That's why, that's why, I'll never forgive the Japanese! That's a fitting uh, alert for it to end on, to be honest. Anyways, how Tipe opens his streams is he goes, What's up, you stupid idiots? But I don't know if that translates very well. That was undeniable proof that we totally owned you. Priceless KT, thank you for the prime sub. Hey, if you guys got a gift sub from Flixie or if you are Priceless KT subbing on your own, try out the new emotes. We got a bunch. 
As an arcade stick player, I was wondering if you knew any companies that make lefty arcades. I don't. You're gonna have to get a custom solution for that. Uh, I think uh, Johnny Phrase maybe could do lefties, and then what's the other guy? This guy All fight sticks. <laughs> you should open up your YouTube videos like that. I'm thinking about it. Hey, he's there. Thank you for the sub. Hey, I don't see people flexing their emotes. A hundred people got gifted and nobody's flexing their emotes. I will find you. <laughs> we have all your names. We have all your names. No PS5. I get my audio mixer for PS5 tomorrow and I need to finish my battle pass anyways. So it makes sense for me to just do this on Steve. I saw this really cool combo that a guy did too on Steve, so I was really motivated. <laughs> Is the Echo Voice a new thing? I've always had it, I just never found a good time to use it. I was trying to use it when I uh, hit God of Destruction, but I, f I actually just forgot about it. I actually... <laughs> I actually just forgot about it. I actually just completely forgot about it. Um, any tips for not getting discouraged as a Tekken noob? Yeah, you only get to be a noob totally once. Owned you lamers. And, like, the pace of learning when you're a noob is so fast. So, uh, I know that probably doesn't help as someone who is actively a noob. But being a noob is kind of, it's kind of like fire. You, like, learn shit so fast. It's really, really cool. I definitely recommend soaking that up if you can. Um, I forgot to add back the Hajime no Ippo sub alert. Consecutive punches. Um, the music back while we're waiting. I like this version. I like both versions of the song. The full spec that's a key lower by Kiryu, and then a one that's a step. Wait, where's my GIF? Oh no! It got deleted. No! I spent so much time making that Epo GIF. Oh no, I found it. Okay, Takamura. This is really important for the Steve stream. So bear with me a sec. <laughs> Great, look at this. Might be loud. Ralph, the big jerk said he didn't want to lose his rhythm and flow so we ended up like this i'm so sorry you should say that to kimura too <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry you should say that to kimura too <laughs> there it is, there it is, okay. So I have to upload that one. And then upload the audio, which I just found. Where'd the audio go? Oh no, here it is. Okay. That shit is so funny, man. Okay. Okay, let's test it. Yeah, we're still on PC today. Let me test this alert. Um, the 8 seconds, 64 font, font weight 500. This site sucks. 8 seconds, 64 font weight 500. Okay. Save it. Save it. Test. <laughs> the 
This is a test. Wait, it's played twice. Six seconds. And it's like out of is it out of sync or was it just me? <laughs> that alert is so this funny. Is a test. All right, and then I had to make it five seconds, I think. Save it. Save it. One more time. This is a test. <laughs> I need the alert to stop, like the audio to not loop. But I don't know if there's a way to do that. But that's fine. You gotta get the Michael Murray as an alert. So I, I thought about that. I thought about doing that today. Setting up that alert. And then I realized it's so funny to me that I don't want to overdo it. I don't want that joke to become old. That shit is really funny to me. So I've decided not to do it, at least for now. Also, check this out, you guys. Probably didn't notice because you guys are very unobservant Tekken players. But, look at the background. I set up my my uh, snack boxes since I don't use them. I might as well use them as LEDs, right? Get ready for the next battle. There's a triangle for deep in mind gives in neutral. Yeah, I'm going to make a video on that. What'd you also say? You said stubbornness, conditioning, punishment. Uh, I don't know how punishment fits in that, but there's definitely a stubbornness conditioning type thing. <coughs> Probably looks really good when it's dark. Yeah, it does. It's really nice. I'm really happy with it. Especially because I changed the sky, like the Insomnia Final Fantasy one is just breathing. And the Sejam one is like random, so it's kind of like, they, I think they work well together. I don't know about Journey video, definitely a highlight reel. I should highlight it for sure, right? No warm up. Tekken Police. This guy's name is Tekken Police. low parry so in two low parries and a throw he has matched my damage and now i'm dead this character is so cool man king is so sick oh i'm dead that was my fault Ducker, man. Well. Oh, I should just running to him. Why am I doing all this peekaboo stuff? Oh, never mind. Oh my god, I'm dead. This is racist, dude. Alright, uh... Dude, his down forward two is so good. I broke that, man. I'm dead. Oh, I'm okay. I did the throw, man. Oh, I'm fucking dead, bro. Oh my god, dude. 
Corruption, thank you for the raid. Alright, warming up. It's cool. It's cool. Warming up. That's crazy. Nobody still spamming emotes. I'm gonna start going down the list of people that Flixie gifted, and we're gonna start banning them one by one. Alright, Patrick Player One, report. You get a gift sub? You trying to drop an emote? How about you, STR8MK? Oh, I let go. I had him. Yeah, <laughs> taking attendance. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what was that, dude? Dude, he counter hit my back one. I started mashing one and it was too late. This game fucking sucks. Okay, he died. Uh, <laughs> Lindblom9, thank you for the sub. And Kukexi, and Damo321, and Haze Dare. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nice sidewalk. Okay, it's looking so ugly for me. Ow! What the fuck? The whole 10 string? Okay, he's not even Shining Wizard me. I should just keep breaking Giant Swing for now. That was cool, but I'm dead. He re... That was my read, bro. Katana Creations, thank you for the gifted stuff. This dude is not respecting you at all. I got something to tell you about King players, Frank Low JPEG. I got something to tell you about King players. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dead! There's no fucking way, bro. One two one is getting countered after. Uh huh. Thought I would go low. Hmm. We block. Tekken. Yeah, time for what is one two? I don't even know how plus one two one is on hit, bro. I've I've, I've never had to deal with somebody matching on one two one. Plus five? Oh, sweet. Oh my god, <laughs> nice. That was a good call. A good call out on the back one. If that's what he was doing, of course. One to one isn't a poke, it's a counter hit to oh my god.
Oh, what do I do there? Back to flicker back to. Oh. Oh. I don't know the back turn punish. 2-1. I know he has a really good back turn punish in this game, but I'm always hitting 1-2 by default, so it's fucked. Oh! Oh my god! I almost did a crazy combo there! Uh no more playing around! What? He changed the break? Is it, and then do you do the ducking? Do you do the ducking? Down forward two, ducking in, uh. Two? Get ready for the next battle. I swear to God, people hit me with like 50 million hits from the rear. Like, they just keep hitting me. Like, they did like a. Like, like that or some shit. That's fake? Oh, okay. Get ready for the next <laughs> battle. It's like your opponent just runs into your counter hits sometimes. It's because I'm moving around a lot. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Wait, this guy? <laughs> I met this guy in real life and he shit talked my friend. He shit talked the fuck out of my friend? Like, like really shit talked him. And then he glazed me right after. I don't think he knew we were friends. <laughs> like, like he really shit talked him. Like he was going in, bro. And then he was like, "Oh, by the way, bro, big fan." And I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, "What the fuck?" I don't have to get the revenge. My, my friend already beat him, but it was it was really funny. It was a really funny moment. Shit. Okay, wait. Down for it too. Go low, boys. Go low. Beat his ass for stealing. Wait, he did steal your chair. That shit was funny. I think we were okay with him stealing your chair, though. <laughs> Gerald's sleeping. The principle of matter? Oh yeah, I'm not in character, my fault. No PSA, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to get my audio mixer thing. Like, I need to get the audio plugged into my Go XLR. And, uh... I also need to finish the battle pass on PC, so I might as well. You know? Z Razik, thank you for the prime sub. Oh. These jabs do not hurt me. The electric does though. Get GOD before you land? That's uh that might be a big ass, bro. <laughs> I can only stream for like five hours today. Explain Steve's clinch throw. The first throw is unbreakable. The second throw you have to guess 50-50. So you have to duck. If you read it, but he has launchers and shit, so.
Oop. That was a really shitty punish. <laughs> Do it in three hours. Yeah, I finally get a haircut today, which is nice. My hair, I don't know if it was just a, a fast couple months or if it grew really fast. My hair does grow like really thick, really fast, but second release, GG's bro. That your uh, giant swings are cooking me. Thanks for cooking me. I said, oh, dude, no worries. You were cooking me too. I think you. Were, uh, I was able to get nice reads on your forward forward neutral too, and uh, what else was I able to do? I was able to read your forward forward neutral too and your giant swing and throw timings. But if you start just doing shove, forward forward neutral too, like it, it gets so much harder to fight. Oh wait, I stayed I can't stay down there. Oh my god. You hell sweep for my life? You are you brave enough? He will not! No more playing around! Be brave! Not that brave! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Nice. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, not enough to kill me though. Oh. <laughs> oh, is this the top battle path? I don't ever see you do the forward one plus two, two. Oh, that's because I'm ass. You should do that punish. Punish is good. Fujin and knee lever, the throw. Throw is the biggest difference. Electric can crush high sometimes, yeah. Did we finish the battle path? I think we're done. Max, we got this shitty ass karate top and 200 Tekken coins to fund our next battle pass. Wahoo. All right, I guess we should boot up PS5. You guys missed Gerald 89? All right, let me turn this shit on. I might have to update the game. Which would be pretty bad if I have to update the game. Also, apparently, the PS5 can melt your USB cables. I'm a little scared of that part. If we're going to be honest. Okay. Is this thing working? The front one? I have a slim, so the front port doesn't work. Okay, weird. It's showing up. It's not showing up on my Elgato, but I can. it's passing through. Um... Okay, yeah, it's showing up here. Why is this not? Oh, maybe that's the wrong device. Here we go. All right, we're back. We're in, we're in, we're in. Nice. Okay. Let's see if the game has to update. It might have to update. Any tips on excelling past blue ranks? Tekken King and Tekken Emperor are kind of like extended blue rank. It's always going to be working on your punishment, with punishment, defensive awareness, and then... Continuing to refine your offense and attacking, pushing your advantage. I feel like most people who get to blue rank know their offense pretty well. But you might be doing a lot of gimmicky offense instead of like really super hyper solid offense. 
You, it, it's it's a reasonable plateau to run into. Will you ever play some Lars? Uh, I don't know how seriously I'll play Lars, but I do want to play him. One sec, I gotta buy this battle pass once again. Tekken coin. I need to do that Chipotle shit. Maybe I should do the Chipotle thing today. I did defrost a couple steaks, but maybe I'll just use that EWGF. Uh, Wait, my taxes are due in three days? Right off. Uh, you get like 500 coins for uh, um, something. For uh, using the code EWGF623, which is kind of cool that it's 623 because that's the input for an electric. What's up, Red Hito Kitty? All right. <clears throat> All right. Should be back. Uh Tournament tonight? Uh I don't think there's a tournament tonight. And either way, I probably am not entering it if it is tonight. My Lily has got a distraction, but I still have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to start playing long sets with people to get better. Four thousand codes. Well, everybody hates the game allegedly, so you know. I wonder if there's, if it's not valid, that would suck. Do you think playing more of a Tekken Seven style, Paul, relying on punishment counters, is limiting in the long run? Yes. If you try to play Tekken Seven in this game when it's not appropriate, you will lose a lot. You'll also be able to win a lot if you're just better than the other players. But uh, I would say it's good to get used to Tekken Eight ASAP. And Paul, Paul is peak Tekken Eight, bro. You hit a death fist. It's go time. Benjo man, the new help me might be my favorite lever of all time. I don't play on my favorite lever of all time. I play worse on my favorite lever. I don't know why. Do you think you learn more matchup knowledge from playing a character or observing gameplay replays of them? I learned the most personally from a mix from fighting against them, labbing their options, and then thinking about it a lot. Results will vary. What do you use to capture the video for PS5? Wait, why don't I have this? I bought the Ultimate Edition, bro. Maybe it's just not downloaded? Wait, I bought the Ultimate Edition of the game, bro. That's really stupid. You have to manually download him? Oh. How do I do that? That's pretty that stupid. Was undeniable proof that we totally owned you, Lance. Um, you need to go to the buy page, but it won't charge you. Oh, you guys, you guys are knowledgeable. Benjamin, thank you for the sub. Go to the PS store. You guys have to understand, I never play on PS5. I don't know anything. Can I not do it through the game? Like, can I not go click like, like you would think, okay, so like pretend I'm a really stupid person because obviously I'm the smartest person here, but let's pretend that I'm really, really stupid. Shouldn't I be able to just go to, not that. Like I couldn't even navigate to the right side of the menu. Like, look at this. I'm trying to go to the right side of the menu here. Oh, now I'm there. Tekken shop. I feel like my game isn't updated because I don't have a quit button either. Eddie Gordo available. So let me click here. And if I click on Eddie Gordo there through the in-game shop, shouldn't it Oh, here we go. Nice. Just open Steam on PS5. That guy, that guy's the goat. I love my Twitch chat, bro. Quit button only on PC. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't read the patch notes, clearly. Okay, ranked match. <laughs> Wait, I was going to make my custom. Oh, my God, bro. Sorry, guys. I'm really stupid right now. Also, wait, wait, wait. I have to make my playlist. Oh, this is going to take a minute. What's the capture card answer? What do you mean, what's the capture card answer? What are your thoughts on the Grandia series? I've never heard of the Grandia series. Booty short Steve? No, I'm making a uh, Steve DX. 
Although I have a new Henley I've been wearing lately that's like a maroon. Can I even put that in? I don't think they even have like a maroon, bro. Oh wait, that's pretty good. And then I have gray sweatpants that everybody said I peed myself in. So we should put those on too. Nice. It's too white. I'm really looking for a gray here. Darkening doesn't change anything. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Look at this. Okay, changing the brightness doesn't change anything if it's on this palette. I'm new second. I really enjoyed playing around with the jukebox feature, but I want to hear a veteran what kind of music you throw on. Any way we could go through and take a quick look? I already <laughs> the video is coming out tomorrow, bro. Wait, I can't tell if that was a serious question if you were asking me. But uh, yeah, the video is coming out tomorrow for the video that we did. With uh, you might be. The casting call was yesterday. That's the coffee boss? Okay, yeah. The casting call was yesterday. You're late. The show's over. Season 1 is already coming out. <laughs> is there a way to make these clear? There's no way to make them clear, is there? Which is kind of odd when you think about it. Yeah, the glass itself. Why do people do these spammy messages? I don't know. They think they're being really funny, bro, but I agree with you. Why do they do these spammy messages? Yeah, I got Lily to God of Destruction. All right, this is a uh, this is advanced. This is Gerald eighty nine version two. <laughs> Bro, trying to make his characters look like JoJo's Harry Potter. That's a really ignorant take. Tags anybody who's anybody in this stream knows that it's literally just a costume of me. Get on rank with Lily. Oh, I was going to get uh, my PS5 account to God. <laughs> because I want to play more on PS5 now. Definitely not me, like, just preserving my rank like a pussy. <laughs> Definitely not that. I'm still fucking dying that I said Eid Mubarak John Ver. <laughs> that shit was so stupid. <laughs> I could not parse the idea of using another culture's language and mixing it with English. That shit was impossible. <laughs> Mr. J, thank you for gifting a sub. That shit was really fucking funny. You just just for Tekken? Yeah, pretty much. Although I have the new FF16, my friend gave me the disc. But, uh... <clears throat> okay gerald 89 on the case you said john versus so casually he's like that <laughs> like that's how you know. <laughs> it was it was janver in my mind but because i said mubarak i was so focused on that part muba ja you know i kind of like this colorway I mean, shit, I wore it yesterday, so I get it. <laughs> they should have added a new stage with Eddie, bro. They should have added a new stage. I really needed a new stage, man. I should practice the back turn punish.
Get ready for the next battle. My favorite stage is probably the Paris stage. Oh, I didn't do the jukebox, damn it. Okay. Jack 8. Oh, man, that would have been cool. Yes, Lily of Destruction has already been acquired. <laughs> What's up, Tekken Tim? Are you the OG Tekken Tim? Or are you, an, uh, are you a different Tekken Tim? This guy's just doing punishable strength. No. Ow. That's crazy. If I did back one, I would have won. Oh my god, he got me. <laughs> what made you pick Steve? I played Steve in Tekken 7 a lot. Oh my god. Uppercut! Uh, I'm on PS5. He's tearing your ass up. Great, great word choice there. Great word choice there, the beast. What? Oh my god, I went under his jab. Oh. 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 Oh shit! The fire rager. You're not a st it is the OG Tekken Tim. Sweet. But you're not a Steve player. I see. Who do you play? Oh, god damn. Check this out. <laughs> he tried the Superman punch on me. <laughs> Jin Devil Jin? Oh, that's smart. Baseball slide does not recover faster. In fact, it looked slower to me. I just was trying to come up with ideas to punish it. Ow. <laughs> oh my god, he mashed on whiff. That's what I should put in my tutorial. You, like, if you're in purple ranks, don't mash on whiff. Oh my god, fire. Heat sneeze. Fight. I feel like Tekken Tim, you're an o you're like super OG, right? I feel like you are the last person that needs to consume my content. My content is really noob heavy. But I appreciate the props. That was not shade, that was just I was curious. Oh, nice punish. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> that was funny. I don't watch it. I just appreciate you. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah. Thanks for what you do. Not that I watch it. I remember the first, like back in 2021 when I was making content. Uh, Speed was saying, I recommend watching this content if you want to grow. I was like, Speed Kicks watches my content? And then we talked about it like two years later. He's like, no, I didn't watch your content at all, but it seemed good. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> you win. It's like he skimmed it and he's like, yeah, it seems pretty good. <laughs> he was unfortunately mistaken. You are... Revising history. My content has always been fire. I was definitely more obnoxious though. I had a mic that had a lot more like treble to it. And so if I watch my old streams, usually I don't get embarrassed listening to my own voice. Like I can listen to my own shit, you know? I really don't care. But when I watch my old streams, I'm so nasally because the mic was like way more trebly. So I was kind of like, how the fuck did people listen to me back then? Even I thought it was annoying.
Well, I, I used to get really self-conscious about my voice, and then I actually, like, would record myself and, like, try to speak in a way that didn't make me cringe. Oh my god, I'm crouching, I forgot. What? You know, PS5 feels so smooth, bro. Oh my god, he just did it. PS5 feels so smooth. Okay, I should really try making some content, I think. I wonder if people will get mad that I'm smurfing, though. Low? Oh my god, no, he engaged me. Are you speaking that way right now? This I'm talking about when I was like 14. So like ever since then, I've kind of like when my voice dropped for the first time, I started like speaking in a way that would make me less cringe to me. I don't know how else to say this and it's going to sound super racist. But you know, like the dialect of English that is like unique to like Asian American nerds. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like they all speak the same way. It's like their consonants sound the same and their vowels sound the same. And like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like that when I was a kid. The Valorant accent? No, no, no. This is, I, I was, this is back in like the 2000s. This is like the 2000s. I'm not talking about, uh, like right now. We definitely ain't saying shit, bro. Well, I, I'm just saying, I, I noticed it a lot as a kid. And it really bugged me, so I tried really hard to speak differently. And since then, I felt pretty comfortable with my voice. He didn't duck any of those. Oh, my bad. Are you doing that accent right now? No, I can't even do it anymore. Like, like I'm, I stopped speaking that way really early. So I don't remember, or like I can't like do it like on accident even. Oh my god, I keep mashing. But... Oh my god, it's gonna be ugly. Explosion! Oh, is he gonna go low? Oh my god, I keep doing the wrong punish, bro. Because that one doesn't put you in crouch. But the three hits puts you in crouch. How do you deal with that Steve mix up? You just ducked a high, but it's also just chip damage too. I think you could just back dash. You can also power crush, yeah. That was undeniable proof. Yeah, we're gonna just defend this one. We're gonna just defend. Okay, well, <laughs> I keep ducking and you keep doing the move. So at this rank, they're not really um, doing like the mid-low mix up, right? It's just uh, what moves are hitting that do a lot of damage. So he's just gonna do the mid over and over off of this crouch and I keep ducking into that bro right like he doesn't have concern for the punishment part of it like that right so I get a free punish Steve like other characters can launch it Steve has to just do forward one plus two no oh my god oh my god I keep getting clipped bro ah! Given X aerial momentum, why can it go backwards? I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. He's trying to do the gun. <laughs> you got it, bro. Yeah, it's minus 16. Armor? Oh, I, get, I read it too. He tried to hit a button at minus nine. Oh my god! Downloaded Twitch. Oh, are you on mobile? TechCW, thank you for the sub. I appreciate the generosity. Nice. Oh, I need to launch that, bro. My punishment is so bad. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you downloading an app just for me. That's very flattering. I would never download an app for somebody. What was that combo, man? Bon appetit. 
Oh. Mid low mix ups. That's the fundamentals of Tekken. You just gotta start making reads. Oh. But it's better to run your offense first. You got the gun? Oh. Punish. I think so. I have another couple videos in the queue. I think I'm gonna just have fun today and then record a video tomorrow. Just saw the Reddit post about the guy who plugged on me in the God of Destruction promo match. It was funny because I was like, I was rage, I was like not raging, but I was like, what the fuck? And then I, I recognized the profile picture and then the dude came into my chat and he's one of my friends. So my friend stream sniped me just to do that. So people on Reddit, when they saw that, they thought I staged it. But really, it was just as much of a surprise to me as it was to everybody else. So you see how I blocked that low? I blocked that low because he went mid and mid, right? So a lot of people will do mids twice and then be like, oh, he's stand blocking, now I can go low. So also mids are like the high reward move in this game, right? So you don't have to respond to every low. You just gotta respond to the ones that will like probably kill you or respond to the ones when they get really obvious. Right, so like I'm losing, but now I just got my one counter hit. So one problem I see a lot of beginners uh, go through or like people learning the game for the first time is like, they think they have to block every low. Right? But you don't. Look how many lows I took until I found my counter hit. And it goes the same way with the other way. Like, people go low, 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 and then do like a launch punishable mid. And you could just do your punish. Lows are there to force you to stop stand blocking, but you don't have to stop right away. Like, look how many lows I'm willing to eat here. Okay, I didn't mean to block that. That was a Korean backdash. But I'm scared of Dragon. I was running two and his down forward two much more than that down two low, right? So I can take those. Okay, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, the second one, I'm just trying to backdash. <laughs> See, like, I can take some lows. It's no big deal. And, like, is he going to block it? So he responded right away. Imagine if I just do this and then go mid. Oh, okay, well, he mashed, but... Some of the lows launch me and you get comboed. So those lows that launch you are balanced around the idea that they're reactable. So you don't want to guess on a launching low. You want to duck it on reaction. And I'll actually talk about that after this because I've wanted to teach this for a while. So after this match. Okay, so he keeps doing double low, right? So the double low is getting predictable. So I can duck the second low right here. And if he doesn't do it, that's fine. I could whiff punish that better. He's doing the running two. He went mid, see? If if I duck that mid, I lose the game. I want him to have to kill me with lows. Nice, that was a good keep up. And even though I'm playing Steve where it's like a counter hit character, this can apply to your character too. You just block enough lows until it's your turn again and then run your offense. Or I mean, uh, take enough lows. Sorry, not block enough lows. See, he didn't even punish me. That was a mistake on my part to do double low and then he blocked the mid, but he didn't get the punish. So block punishment is a big part of this too and not eating this. <laughs> Lots of damage. See, that's the power of eating like a counter hit or eating a mid. Nice, and I ducked there, so I died. So gauging the risk reward between mid and low is about understanding your opponent's habit and what are you willing to die for, right? Like, in that case, I don't need to duck. I could just sidewalk left. I know that's some, like, advanced knowledge, probably, like, but there are ways in Tekken to mitigate risk-reward so you're not just guessing mid and low. You could backdash. That's another reason the Korean backdash is so good. It's because I'm just out of the risk zone now. Nice break. Mid, mid. He did a rage art. He didn't want to duck. He would rat... He didn't... When you do a rage art like that, it's because you're too... Most people are too scared to guess mid and low, and they can just make a timing read. 
Scared might be the wrong word. But you're avoiding making a read and just going for the mid-low. Oh, he did high. I read a low, he went high. So let's see if he rematches game two here. Um, yeah, big point about this is you don't have to respond to everything. I doubt he's going to rematch me, bro. Oh, no, he did. Nice. Love it. So let's check this out. Pay attention to actually how many down twos I'm willing to take. Because I still have my block punishment. I have my whiff punishment, like block punish here. I win, I win damage. Right? So now, if I take two down twos, it's fine. I could have whiff punished that. Okay. There. Now he's gotten even HP off of two lows. Two lows that I could have punished. Also notice that I didn't show him where I was willing to duck. So he's not really sure where he can do it anymore. So I do a mid. I'll do a mid again. Okay, nice counter hit. Miss oh, I tried to sidewalk. There, I blocked the second low because I anticipated two lows in a row. I'm just going to do the safe option here, mid. Oh, my back dash got caught. I'm dead. Nice, and then low to kill. And sometimes you'll lose. Sometimes you'll lose being wrong. That's okay. You can also mash out of that situation with an 11 frame move. Oh, I'm nice. That was good. <clears throat> Best low on Steve is probably this stomp. Oh, I blocked that. Oh, no. <coughs> oh, wow. You got him off. Oh, fuck. I messed up. I tried to sidestep the second hit. You have to just block. No more playing around. Nice. <laughs> so you see how he's willing to kill me with lows now. So now I have data. And this is where the read part comes into play. If I know... Wow, I'm ass. If I know he's going to try to kill me with lows, then I can block low on the last hit. Bro, I'm getting killed. Yep, two lows in a row. He tends to like that. And he's stand blocking a lot himself. So I can go low a bunch. And maybe he'll duck now. Oh, he did duck. I had him. Another thing to consider is that throws are, at a low level, similar to lows. Because most people are going to duck your throw instead of break it, I think. But as you can see, he's not really ducking low. He's fuzzy ducking low. So I could just keep going low here. Oh my god. Wasn't his turn yet, so he just mashed the unlucky. That was a shitty combo. And then I killed him low. Right? Lows are to counter stand blocking. Right? That is their explicit purpose. I'm going to mash here because I know he's going to attack twice. I'm going to go low again. I'm going to go low again. I'm going to go mid. Right? See how he's not really responding to every low? That makes him kind of hard to hit, which is pretty good. That's probably why he's 10 for you. Mashing out of that. I'm going to go mid again. I'm going to go mid again. I'm going to go mid again. Mid again. See, he's not ducking at all. And that's cool. That's cool. Sometimes you'll be right, sometimes you'll be wrong. But the 50-50 the between mid and low is the very basis of Tekken. The very, very basis of Tekken. I said I was going to do something after this. What was I going to do again? Was I going to Oh, reactable lows. Okay, okay. So, so mid-low is the very basis of Tekken. Somebody was saying, oh my god, my, but, but there's these lows that launch me. What do I do about those lows? Alright, so let me switch to a character with a reactable low. Uh, we could we could even do Dragonov. Let's just do Dragonov, right? Get ready for the next so battle. the idea behind this, like Tekken, boils down to a mid-low game. Once you have kind of cleared some of the base fundamentals, so the base fundamentals I'm talking about here are taking your free damage, stopping your opponent from getting free damage, uh, and it's just those two things: <laughs> taking free. Uh, taking your free damage and stopping your opponent from getting their free damage. Two things, right? What do I mean by that? Free damage is like a throw. If you can't break throws, you are giving your opponent free damage, right? This is a core fundamental of the game. A lot of people ask, do I have to learn throw breaks? If you don't want to take free damage, yes, right? So this is one concept, and I'm sure if you've seen my other videos, you already know about that. But another source of free damage are these reactable lows, right? So what is a reactable low? What defines it as reactable? Um, I'm going to turn on my opponent's frame info here. Turn off all this extra data, alright? The startup, if you look at the attack startup frames for Dragunov, 27 frames. Around 25 frames is where we consider it reactable, visually, right? Things like audio cues can also help, but 25 frames is like, 
this is the bare standard minimum that people expect. And this isn't something you're going to be able to do automatically. I get hit by snake edges all the time. How do you train this? You literally, this is how Pakistan will do it with like 21 frame moves. You stare at it. You record him doing the move. You stare at it. And you force yourself not to do the input until he visually does it. Block this 10 times. Then add in a mid as a mix up. Perfect example, dragging off back one plus two right here. 22 frames, it's a bit faster. And he makes the same audio cue. So you have to visually look for him to do the low sweep and only do the low block when he does that. This is how you drill reactable lows in Tekken. It's, some people will think it's boring, but I would rather be bored for five minutes than lose 30 minutes of ranked progress because I can't react. You're too old for this? Nah, bro. This is just this is just training. If you can drive a car, you can do this. If you can walk across the street, you can do this. It just takes a lot of time. It takes discipline. Unless you actually have like a legitimate disability or something. I don't want to like tell people like, oh, just do it, bro. Like shit like that, right? I don't want to like flame people if they actually have like legitimate issues stopping them, okay? But this for the general population, this is very trainable, okay? So this is how you reduce the free damage you take. Then the last piece of the puzzle is claiming free damage your opponent gives you. And this is punishment, right? If they do a move that is unsafe on block and you are not taking the damage they give you, then you are, <laughs> you're trolling. But also the mid-low game isn't as important. The mid-low game that we're talking about only arises once you've gotten to the point where all the free damage is off the table. And it's never truly off the table, right? It's just for, for the vast majority of high level players and medium level players, you cannot just spam unsafe strings on your opponent and expect to win. You cannot just spam reactable lows and expect to win. You can't spam throws and expect to win. So what happens after that point? Mid-low. Mid-low is a true 50-50 that you have to guess. Now we do have the risk reward that lows tend to be less reward and less safe. So players generally will prefer to do mids. That's the, the very basis Tekken 101. And then this, the, the level after that Tekken 201 is where I'm tired of guessing mid and low. I'm tired of guessing armor. What if I just backdash out of range, right? What if I'm just never there? My opponent has all these moves, but I'm never in range and I can hit him for free. The spacing component is where we unlock the next level of Tekken. Where you are like, forget guessing. Let me just get out of range. And then you start having mind games around that. Hey, I don't want to whiff. I need to run in, right? I'm dragging off. I'm tired of him whiffing. Let me run up and then do this move. Okay. I'm tired of running up or like, and me, I can't get away. I'm trying to backdash. I can't get away from this. What do I do? Counter hit him. If you're spending all that time running up, you're not blocking. And this is where you find counter hits. This is where you find just keep out moves in general. I would not recommend doing that as keep out, right? And this is the basis of fighting games, but also the basis of Tekken. So if you're struggling to block mid and low, <laughs> That was like a teaser, right? If you're struggling to block mid and low, understand that it's supposed to be hard. Blocking mid and low is the very basis of Tekken. And it's always going to be the part of the game that is developing, right? It's a 50-50. You're never gonna like, I mean, you can like uh, download your opponent's habits. You could download character tendencies, right? But uh, ultimately this is a 50-50 and it always is going to be. The best you could do to mitigate the amount of damage you're taking Punish your opponent's punishable strings and attacks. Break throws, block reactable lows. And then you unlock the rest of the game. Tekken is really cool, man. Tekken's really hard. So uh, good luck if you're trying to learn this. We'll be putting out more videos on like spacing and things like that. So look forward to those. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Nice little YouTube ting. I said I wasn't going to record a video today, but that was a good opportunity. Uh, end of video talks about blocking mid versus low.
Cool. Asajj21, you're pretty cool, man. Thank you. I have a new hater. I found a new hater. So I, I made the mistake. Well, I don't even think it was a mistake because I knew what I was doing. Well, it still makes it a mistake. I was browsing Reddit mainly because of how that funny clip and I wanted to see what people were saying. I was I was browsing Reddit and because uh, that clip was so funny, right? Oh my God, it is Yoda. What the hell? How do you guys knew that? How did you know it was Yoda? Um, I was browsing Reddit and I saw I had a new hater because everybody was kind of like supporting me in the comments of like, oh yeah, that plug was pretty fucked up. And then a few people were like, Lily Mains don't deserve to eat. Don't feel bad for him. And then somebody was like, yeah, good. He's two-faced and creepy. I'm glad he lost or something like that. I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like it wasn't coming after my character. It was just coming after me. And I was like, huh? <laughs> that shit confused me. I was there, like, and, and I recognize the name too. I'm not gonna like out them because that doesn't make sense. But I was like, I was having a really bad mental health day one day. This was like probably early March. And I was reading my YouTube comments, also a mistake. Oh wait, let me not mess up this combo. Uh, I was, uh, I was reading YouTube comments and somebody said, like, FDX is a hack. Literally anybody, like, his tips are useless, and literally anybody else who makes content deserves more views than him. And it, like, wasn't a, tr it wasn't like a, like, a bait. It wasn't like a meme. That guy, like, comments on all of my videos, hating on all of them. Like, like, religiously. Religiously hates on all my videos. Like, I upload a video, and he shows up before the faithful subscribers. He's like a faithful hater. Like, dedicated to his craft. And, like, I, um... I was, like, like usually, like, I can ignore comments. Well, I'm, I'm pretty bad at ignoring comments, to be honest. But in this case, I'm usually good at ignoring comments. But that one bugged me because it was, like... The idea that I'm misleading people on purpose is insane, considering the amount of effort I put into being accurate. Like, the reason I don't release videos as often as I'd like to that are like tutorials. Like I upload daily, but I would rather upload every day tutorial content, like if I could. And the reason I don't do that is because I'm concerned about giving good information. Like I've had a video trying to explain how to apply your backdash for like a month. And given I was coughing a lot, so that's probably why I didn't upload it either. But I care a lot about being accurate and clear and trying to make your experience easier. So that comment really bugged me because it was like, why am I spending all this effort if somebody's gonna just say some shit like that? And yes, I got one guide, right? I got one guide. So it really didn't matter, but at the time it bugged me. So I posted it, uh, I posted it to Reddit and I just posted the screenshot of the chat and just said, yeah, this guy FDX is a hack. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I just quoted it, right? And most people were either like, Oh no, like he didn't mean like he doesn't know what he's talking about. Your stuff is really helpful. And then other people were like, um, don't listen to this guy. And then other people are like, oh, you're soft as fuck. And I was like, okay, I get it. People are either gonna like this or hate this. I'll just delete it. But before I deleted it, one person said, Look at this insecure streamer. Can't handle his ego getting hit or something and post for sympathy. And in my mind, in my mind, it wasn't even for that. Maybe that was like subconsciously part of it. But in my mind, I was like, maybe there's stuff about my content that my audience doesn't like, right? Like maybe there's stuff that I can be improving. That was like in my, in my, in my manic episode, that's what I was thinking. So maybe I'll post this to Reddit, get some hate and see what people are bothered by. Like maybe this guy is kind of right. Maybe there's something I can actually improve on. And then I saw that comment and I was like, oh, some people really are just here to hate. <laughs> like, like they had that opinion before I posted that. And it just proved them right, you know? <laughs> Anyways, that was the same guy or girl or person who tweeted or like who replied like, good, this guy's creepy and two-faced. <laughs> and that shit was really funny to me. Haha, <laughs> hey, that was me! <laughs> As someone currently in red ranks, can you elaborate on why you're winning in these matches? Yeah. Um, 
a lot of it is they're doing unsafe strings. So like the Yoshimitsu is just doing unsafe strings, right? So I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm getting my punishes. I'm getting my whiff punishes. They are mashing into me when they're not supposed to. But yeah, I think Reddit was really useful for me in college because I spent a lot of time really bored. I think Reddit is really good for like bored people. Oh, it was you I played. I thought it was you on the Reddit post. <laughs> GG's. You should take a tiny bite out of the gum. Yeah, this is caffeine gum. This is caffeinated gum. So one piece is a double shot. I'm not trying to take a double shot. What degree you get? I'm not trying to talk about college, bro. I was just talking about how bored I was. Why is you taking past that though? Yeah, I'm on a PS5 right now. I'm, I'm, I want to train on PS5 because uh, oiled femboy TTV. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got stun luck. Uh, <laughs> I'm training on PS5 because that's what's in tournaments. All right, so if I'm playing this and trying to like teach somebody, I'm just doing a bunch of mids plus frames. You know, I talk about how plus frames are really important. Nice sidewalk. Okay, I guess low. I was wrong. Okay, I, he is back to the wall though. Mid, mid. He did a punch parry. That's cool. This guy kind of knows what he's doing. This guy kind of knows what he's doing. So, I will probably have to play more Tekken unless like, oh, just straight, uh, straight like, uh, mid frame traps and stuff, right? So if my frame traps aren't, oh, he just ducked. Okay. I guess I'll go low. Okay, he's ducking for no reason. So I was wrong. I could just keep doing what I'm doing. No throw break. Punish. He just ducked for no reason. So if he's ducking for no reason, I, I can just go mid. I really don't have to like overthink it too much. Ow. Nope, I missed. I should probably not whiff either. That would help me a lot with the whole winning thing. All right, I'm gonna go mid again. Nice, he stayed down. That was pretty good. This guy's doing some good shit, like uh, just not dying by default. A lot of red ranks and purple ranks are people just dying. That he's ducking. <laughs> nice. So he's playing interrupts there. That's not safe. Mid. He's dying. I'm going to go mid again. Frame trap with down forward one, two. Cool. Mid. Down forward one, two. Step on his feet. Why did I go low there? Because he got counter hit twice. He was likely to just stand block. He did an unsafe string. Okay. He's ducking for no reason. Down forward one. Nice. He tried to punch parry me, but you can't punch parry running moves, so it would have been fine. Okay, I'm not breaking throws. Just get up without dying. Nice. A little punish there. Could have punished harder, but mid, mid, mid. My high strings to control. Okay, punish. Heat dash. Mid. Okay. Okay, he got me once. Am I going to react to that low? No, I'm going to break that throw. Mid again. Mid again. I'm going to frame trap. Nice, nice duck. Mid, mid. All right. Am I convinced he's going to stop? No, he did something unsafe again, right? So my block punishes are still working. And he ducked again for no reason. Mid frame trap. His back's to the wall, so the conditions are different. He's a bit more scared. So now he's mashing, right? Do you see how he developed a lot of anxiety without me really actually doing anything? So all I did was start playing mids and frame traps and then not dying to his other stuff and not overreacting to what he was doing. When you talk about frame traps, is it on block moves, on hit, or both? It's both. But on block ones are the ones that are easier to implement, right? So now, I'm gonna be running two, and I'm gonna try back one, okay? Okay, block punish here. Okay, block, oh, I missed the punish. Actually, is that safe now? I don't know. All right? So when his back is to the wall, he starts panicking and doing unsafe stuff. Right? Minus nine now? Okay, cool. Mid, mid. He's jabbing back. He went low. Unsafe. So I get a punish. Use those frames to attack. He's just blocking. Nice. Okay. And then counter hits. 
Nice. He, so he's going low a lot because I'm stand blocking a lot, which is good. And then he ducked again for no reason. I'm ass. When uh, a frame trap is when you have no, that that's not the right explanation. When you have enough advantage over your opponent that your attack will beat theirs, your attack will come up faster. I'm plus six here, so I have six frames where I can move faster before my opponent can. That's why he's afraid to hit a button, is because. Unless I pick a really slow button, I will outpace him. Alright, so I'm starting to go low because he's just blocking. Alright, and it took one low. And he immediately got scared and low parried. So now I could probably just go mid twice. Oh, okay, I can't do one to one. You can't do one to one because that will counter hit launch you. That's my fault. Alright. Frame trap. Here. Frame trap. Down forward one. Alright. Now I know he's looking for the low once. I'm gonna do the low one time. And now he's mashing. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's really afraid of the low. Right? So instead of... Let's... Instead of trying to beat him with the frame trap. Nice sidewalk. I'm gonna try to just backdash and get a whiff punish. So I'm gonna frame trap him and then backdash. Especially because his back is to the wall, he's getting scared. Okay, he's backdashing too. Love that. Nice sidewalk. This guy is kinda he's cool. He's learning a lot of new techniques and trying to implement them, which I like. GG's. Um somebody asked, how do you deal with frame traps on the opposite side? So the there's frame trap is two components. It's a plus frame move and then the trap. So the plus frame move is disadvantageous to play after. Let's let's show an example. Dragonov is a decent example, I guess. Dragonov is messed up. All right, so let's look at this. Frame trap, right? Or frame trap part one, the plus frame move. He's plus six. See that? So if I decide to challenge him after this plus six, and he does say this, right? If I try to jab here. His move beats me. Why does it beat me? Because he's plus six, and his next move is 14 frames. So plus six, 14 frames. If I try to jab, my 10 frame jab, let's, there's numbers, let's, 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 let's type this out, there's numbers. All right, let's type this out. Where's my game, bro? Oh, it's because I'm on a, oh, there we go. It's because I was on PS5, okay, cool. Nice, so. Drag back one plus two, he's plus six. Drag back four is 14 frames, right? So these are the actions he's taking. Plus six, then he does back four, right? So if Steve does jab, that's 10 frames normally, right? But he is six frames slower because of ja Dragonov's plus six. So now it becomes, now it becomes 14 frames versus 16 frames, right? So my jab loses, right? This is the fundamentals of frame trapping. I've talked about it a bunch. I have other videos explaining it, but let's just, you know, just to be complete, right? So that's why my jab always loses here, okay? So I have to just block. Now look at this. I blocked and now he's minus nine. So a frame trap equals advantage move, right? Plus frame move, followed by trapping move, right? A frame trap is an advantage move into a trapping move. The trapping move is usually minus on block. So if I mash here, I lose. But if I mash now, now it's my turn. It's my advantage. So dealing with frame traps is often waiting for the next move, right? Of course, it's a fighting game, so there are counters to that. Dragonov can read that you're just gonna block and go plus frames again to recreate the situation. Plus six, right? Because I decided to just stand block, now he's plus again, right? You can also just play a mix up. 
instead of frame trapping, if I know they're going to stand block, I just go low. Right? Because I don't want to jab, so I'm just going to chill. And that's why Dragonov's down by 3 plus 4 is so good. Right? If I'm just respecting the frame trap and chilling, he hits the slow, he's plus 7. So he gets to frame trap me again after a successful hit. Let's all be real, drag is just going to grab you if you stand block forever. So if you're stand block, grabs I consider free damage. If you can't break them, it's free damage. If you can break them, it shouldn't be free damage. So if Dragon decides to grab, that should not uh, that should not really advance the mix-up, right? Well, because when you successfully break the grab, you are plus six. You're plus six. So it's your turn again. So when it comes to how to dealing with frame traps, you often can just wait for the trapping move, right? Wait for the trapping move, which is the second move. And then if they're the kind of player to spam frame plus frames, then you interrupt, right? So if they show you that they're going to play this style, not that one, this one, like they think you're going to block, so you double up. This is where you mash out of frame. We say out of frame because I played from disadvantage. This is a core fundamental of fighting games, but it is statistically not advantageous to do, right? Statistically, if you are challenging every minus frame situation, they can kill you. A lot of people who try to implement frame traps get killed because they're not enforcing the frame trap, which is the very, very layer one of it. <clears throat> the very, very layer one of the frame trap is just doing it, right? So if somebody keeps mashing on your frames, you just do it. So in red ranks, where I recommend to just learn your first frame trap. Actually, I learned it yellow up through red ranks. You just uh, just do the frame trap. Don't even play. Like, when I was fighting that Kazuya, it wasn't about, like, multiple running twos. It was just do the down forward one. And then you go low once or twice. They get scared of it. And then you keep doing the mid. So hopefully that helps. Um, I think that's all I got. Good luck in ranked. Please subscribe for more. Catch you in the next one. Peace out. God, I wasn't going to do videos today, but these opportunities keep coming up because I'm playing in red ranks. <coughs> I'll probably just make a separate account if I want to make more content because I just want to play the game right now. Bro. Yes, everybody loves content, but I want to play the game. Back one. Oh my God. Wow. He, but he ducked too. Frame trap. Mid, nice frame trap. Frame trap, look at that. Not a lot of sophisticated gameplay. The running two may be a bit challenging. He did mid, mid, low twice. That's another thing. A lot of players like to do this like duck, duck, goose style. Mid, mid, low. Mid, mid, low. Oh, my fault. Hit the wrong thing. Oh. Also, he's mashing on hit. Like, he's getting hit and he's mashing. So, a lot of, uh, mid, mid, low. <laughs> A lot of players are still learning the very basics of Tekken, which is cool. That's not safe. Oh wait, that's not the punish either. Oh my god. Nice, I whiffed. Wake up strategy. I have that in my beginner guide. Get ready for the next battle.
Thank you, Nerf Velkaz. Get ready for the next battle. Oki strategy. Hmm. Kind of character specific. That's the hard part. Round one. Fight. Just saw someone call you Feed Me Dick DX on the main man stream. Why do you have haters? Well, I have a few questions. If somebody's hating on me, isn't it kind of hater shit to bring that to my attention? <laughs> like if I'm just chilling, now I'm more aware of a hater. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know why I have haters. To be honest. I'm actually kind of scared of them. Because my content is so focused on positivity and education that it kind of scares me that somebody would just like start hating. Like that actually is like, like isn't that kind of scary? Like, I don't know what I did. It like defies my expectations of what human interaction is like and so for that reason i'm afraid of doing something that'll like get me killed or something you know what i mean like what if i say something innocuous and like somebody gets super offended and then i get like killed for it you know that's kind of scary so i'm banking on the fact that my haters probably aren't brave enough to do that that's not a punish Nice stuff. Oh shit, he died. What? What? Messed up my combo. Ambus, but not for Kazuya. My brother in Christ, Kazi is not on the screen right now. Somebody told him to do that punch parry for sure. Somebody said, oh, if you're fighting Steve, just punch parry. You guys know that Detroit Urban Survival Guide? <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Detroit, Urban <laughs> Detroit Urban Survival Guide. You're fighting a Steve. Implement a punch parry. <laughs> Biomechanics and advantage. The punch parry counters all of his options. Steve cannot kick. <laughs> Ow. I blocked that. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Shit, that shit's working. I'm in the video right now. I'm the guy folding. <laughs> Oh my god. No. What the fuck? Oh my god! My punish! Ah! <gasps> He's a genius! He's a genius! Holy shit! <laughs> that was fire. That was so fire. Oh my god. Alright, so actually though, how do you beat someone like this? How do you beat someone who's just doing keep out moves and it's launching you? You bait him with your movement. Run in, back dash. Run in, back dash. And eventually, he'll give you a punishable move. Or, he'll stop. And now he's stopped, right? Oh, never mind. He whiffed again. Also, run your frame traps if you can. Oh, 
What if they're ultra patient? You got 60 seconds on the clock. Take your time. Oh my god, he got counter hit. Oh. Oh my god. Messed up. Now, some characters have really good keep out, right? But you can't rush. The worst thing you can do is over rush it. Oh my god, bro. If you rush, you'll die. Nice punch, Barry. No. He ducked. Interesting. He ducked. Interesting. He did not duck. Apple Senius TV, thank you for the prime sub. Oh my god, I went. And dev 11111-ish. Thank you, you guys. Ow. I jabbed. He frame trapped me. Look at that. That was good. Oh, he tried to... Oh, my mask. Whiff punish. Low. Wait, this is my combo. My chance! Ah, oh. Oh! This guy is a molester. Granola Dan, thanks for the prime sub. <laughs> Can you pull off the line part in the peekaboo tag? Yeah, I do it. Is he leaving? That's crazy. Yeah, I've been coaching the RDC boys. The sub alert is the hater pointing at Fee. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. 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 Oh, I me Wait, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. I was uh, not plinking fast. Bro. I'm a fraud. I'm holding the three for two frames. Which is not what you want to do. This is why I think switching PS4, PS5 is pretty important. Get ready for the next battle. Are you where you have supporters? Oh, thanks. Oh, I ducked that, man. Oops. What? This guy's the goat. I actually did the wrong break. I got lucky. The biggest thing I've been- so I've been watching like Lily Pichu, oh my god, and like a bunch of other people. In red ranks, either you do your offense better or block- you have to like block. And it, it sounds really dumb, like you don't want to over block, but there are people who are just mashing buttons in the middle of people's strings. And you, you can't do that in Tekken, you will die. I know like people want to play the game, they didn't pay this much money to block, but there are times where you're not allowed to hit buttons and you have to figure those rules out. Steve has launch punishes, just not, uh, you have to, it's not like immediate, like at 15 frames. Oh, my bad. Ow, I blocked it! Gingerbread man. I just saw Shrek 2 and Shrek 1 for the first time. They're pretty decent movies. Get ready for the, next battle. the music was really good. No, I watched them in the correct order. I watched them in the correct order.
pretty decent movies. Um, well, I always would see the opening of Shrek 1 and then get grossed out and stop watching it. I don't really like, like, gross humor. So for me, it was like, I'd watch the beginning, I'm like, this movie sucks, and then I just move on. Like, I remember the same thing happening for, like, Jackass. Like, people are like, yo, bro, you gotta watch this. This is really funny. It's a dude, like, shitting in another guy's face. I'm like, this is not funny. This is disgusting. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yuck. What the fuck? You like that? <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> I mean, wholesome. It's just that disgusting. <laughs> it's not, not funny. It's gross. This guy's playing, like, Coney. The five moves of doom. Also, like, prank humor in general, to me, has always been stupid. Prank humor to me is so stupid. And maybe part of that is because I got pranked a lot as a kid. <laughs> so, that, like, that could be part of it. But to me, it's so stupid. If your comedy is dependent on ruining somebody else's experience in life, and your only defense of it is, well, it was funny for me, it's just a prank, like, that shit's kind of corny. You know? Like, your only way to have fun is to ruin someone else's fun. He said as a Steve and Lily player. The difference with a video game, though, is you're consenting to it. In a video game, you log on, you know what characters exist, right? In life, if you're at the grocery store and someone is just air horning your face, it's like, what, dude? I came here to fucking shop. Not to be your plaything. Whoa, Steve can't walk that, but Lily can. Oh my god, he shit on me! Thank you for the sub, uh, Rab. Depends on the prank, some are just straight up distasteful. No, to me, the whole genre of pranking... The whole genre of pranking is fucked. The whole genre of pranking is fucked unless it doesn't cause somebody stress. The only form of prank that isn't, like... That is, like, not fucked up is if it like doesn't really cause the other person stress but most most pranks are built on the idea of deceiving somebody into a situation that they think is shittier than actually than it actually is and the only comfort they get after the fact is well at least i'm not actually dying or something right you know like that shit is like it's only funny to the person doing it the pranking genre is not about pranking. No, no, no. I, even, I don't even agree. But like, I'm not talking about like video pranking. I'm not even talking about that. I'm not even talking about like pranking for videos. Like I had an uncle who would just say like, oh shit, bro, your controller's broken or something like that. And I'm like an eight year old kid. I'm like, great. Now I got to fucking get a new controller. I got to ask shit and stuff like that. And he's like, no, nah, I'm just kidding, bro. I'm like, cool. That was funny for you. <laughs> Sweet, bro. Very funny. <laughs> like, that's not even like, <laughs> what do you get out of that? <laughs> what do you get out of that? You get to watch me be stressed out for two seconds. So fucking funny, man. So fucking funny. Comedic genius. Get ready for the next battle. BDX is anti-fun? No, you just don't know how to have good fun. You have this fast food brand McDonald's ass fries fun and you think this is peak comedy. You're like, oh my god, bro, have you had salt on your potatoes? This shit is genius. Like, you never had a proper meal in your life. Fucking bro had Taco Bell. He's like, bro, Mexican food is fire. Whoa. God damn it, I ate a snake edge. <laughs> Bro had a Whataburger for the first time. It's like, bro, have you ever had pickles on this thing? They grind their beef. Isn't that good? Like, bro, get the fuck. <laughs> you know, you can grind beef and it tastes really good. Don't talk shit about Taco Bell. Taco Bell's talking about shit about you in your stomach right now. They're like, dumb fuck ate me. Look at him now. <laughs> I 
I eat Taco Bell. Like, don't get me wrong. I will eat shitty food, but I'm not going to tell people it's good. And in the same way, if I'm with somebody, like if I have a friend who enjoys prank humor, that's different, right? There are people who for some reason like getting pranked. Okay, and maybe that's some weird brand of masochism. Not my place to shame it. Maybe you like pranks just like you like your shitty Taco Bell. I'm not going to shame you for that. And maybe I will participate if you like to be pranked. Like, like, I know people who like to be pranked and surprised. If you like that shit, cool. I will support you in your strange fetishes. But why is that the default way of other people interacting with me? Why is your only way of existing the idea of like, hey, this will be fun only for me? Isn't that like inherently weird? That's the jackass crew? Yeah, this all started because I was talking about how jackass was gross. And the only reason I said it's okay in video games is because both players are consenting to the experience. This guy ducked my throw. And I did a shitty punish. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, I'm ass. Why would I care if my friend is having fun? I don't even like him. That's what it feels like, bro. It's the same idea as Jackass. They're all consenting adults. Yeah, and that's different, bro. They're like, okay, we can make a fuck ton of money. This is what we already do. That's fine. But think about all the people who watched Jackass had their fucking friend like sleeping. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking shit in his mouth. He's gonna love that. Like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, yeah, I got him. Get pranked! <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and, like, it's not even just, like, it doesn't even have to be that extreme. Like, I, like, I, I would get pranked for the stupidest shit. It was like, oh, like, I already made the example. Oh, your controller's broken or shit like that, right? Just kidding. No, it's not. Like, where is the comedy in that? I don't understand why that's funny. The reason it's funny is because you think it's funny for me to be legitimately stressed out. For whatever amount of time you deemed is morally appropriate. There was an arbitrary amount of time that you decided, oh, this is okay, right? You decided, hey, if he's mad for 30 seconds, it's not a big deal. Oh, if he's mad for five minutes, it's not a big deal. This controller isn't actually broken. Fuck you. I gave you the gift of relief? Relieve these nuts, dude. Fucking... Get, buy me food! You know that would relieve, relieve my hunger! I'm fucking hungry! What are you relieving me of? You're relieving me of the stress that you gave me, bro! What is this? Shitty ass comedy, bro. That was crazy to that whip. Your friend pranked you with that plug yesterday? See, the difference is, I got clout off of that. That's a good, that's a good point. So if you are new here, I was on my God of Destruction promotion match. And one of my friends, I didn't know it was my friend at the time, but he stream sniped me and plugged when I was on last hit about to win, right? Right? The only reason that was okay, like after the fact, is A, the next game I got God of Destruction, and B, I got a really funny clip and I'm a YouTuber. But if, I, no, if any of those factors were missing, I would have been so pissed, bro. I would have been so pissed. The only reason, honestly, that's a bad prank. The only reason it was a good prank is because I'm a live streamer and I am a part of the like attention economy. The fact that that, those that was in play is the only reason it was okay. Yes, I would have been pissed if I didn't promote right after. Absolutely. You better believe that. I was it we skipped ahead. We skipped ahead to the part where we looked back and laughed at it, right? We skipped way ahead. But easily, that could have been a fucking nightmare. I wish I could punish this harder. I guess I could do like 2-2. Two, two. Anyways. So it was a modern day jackass. No! 
I didn't go into that match thinking, hey, I hope somebody who is my friend logs on and plugs me. There's no like preparation phase. You know, and where's my get back? My get back is that randoms on Twitter are probably giving him death threats. That doesn't give me satisfaction. That doesn't give me satisfaction at all. That's what I mean. The whole prank genre is built on the idea that you are pro. Oh, it is for sadists and masochists. I get it. I understand now. The point of prank humor is you enjoy other people's suffering. That's it. That's literally it. This guy got a duck at some point. Well, okay, to his credit, I was saying that people need to block more, and he was blocking more. Guys, it wasn't an actual realization, bro. Of course it's fucking built on somebody's discomfort. You think that's you think that's some 500 IQ realization? That shit is the most obvious shit in the world. It's still stupid. Thank Ad Adrian Ali actually got it. That shit is stupid. <laughs> that shit is only cool in consensual situations. If someone consent consents, then it's cool. But the whole prank humor is the idea that it's not consensual. They didn't expect. Is this going to break the floor? Oh, shit. I had an Uber driver who we were stuck in traffic in Las Vegas. And oh my God, that is not a frame. That is not a combo. Uh, I, I had a, we were stuck in traffic in Las Vegas and because they were building like the Formula One racetrack. Oh shit, I'm dead. They were building like the Formula One racetrack or something. And uh, yeah, he kept yapping, but that wasn't the point. The point is he spent the whole 30 minute drive, which should have been a like a five minute walk, by the way. He spent a 30 minute drive, which should have been a five minute walk. I literally got out of the car early showing me Facebook videos while he was driving of a dude who would just walk by people and fart at them. And that was the whole thing. And he thought it was the funniest thing that anybody had ever, the funniest content anybody had ever made on the planet. And I was like, bro, I have a friend we meme on who thought that was funny when we were like 13. You are like 55, bro. <laughs> he did not drive a Tesla, bro. That joke is gas? You are a problem. I'm losing. Honestly, that's pretty common. 30 minutes, the beast! 30 minutes! I was late to see my friends! That is not comedy. You are just capping for attention. That is literally not funny. <laughs> you know that's not funny. You don't think that's funny. You don't believe the words coming out of your mouth right now. Yeah, exactly. You thought it was funny because I was mad about it. You guys think it's funny because I was mad about it. You, I'm your fucking monkey and I'm here to dance. And oh my god, little monkey is mad because he had to sit 30 minutes in a car. A dude showing him fart videos in 480p on Facebook. What the fuck? <laughs> that shit was horrible. <laughs> Oh my god! I have no real friends, bro. Oh my god. Does it break the floor? Oh, it does. You have trauma you need to heal from. No, wow! Fuck me! Who called Sherlock Holmes, bro? Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Anyways, Shrek was pretty good. I never watched the beginning because it was so gross. Also, <laughs> my girlfriend loves Donkey. She thinks Donkey's a great character. She's like, Donkey's the only one who understands him. I'm like, understands him? This dude is an annoying asshole. He's literally an annoying ass. He's literally an annoying ass. That dude sucks. He's good for like five minutes. <laughs> He's good for five minutes in the movie. <laughs> Literally, my whole my whole fucking life feels like I'm Shrek dealing with Donkey. <laughs> not my girlfriend. That's not what I meant. But I mean, I I really I listen. I really feel Shrek. Okay. Sometimes you just want to be left alone. 
Sometimes you just want to be left the fuck alone. And then one time you decide to interact with society, they're like, oh my god, he's an ogre. The two times I interact with society, they're like, oh my god, he likes playing video games. Oh my god. He doesn't want to be a software engineer. So I, I really feel I really feel Shrek, okay? I really feel Shrek. That's all I gotta say. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the music was really good, especially in the second movie. All of the like, like I wish we did more of that. I wish they took like pop music and did like the rearrangements of them. That was so cool. Like living the Vida Loca and like the salsa style was super cool. Or like um, they did that Counting Crows thing in like with like the ukulele. That shit was sick. Oh, I'm dead. No. Shrek was really cool. I really like that movie. Well, I like Shrek 2 better. And I remember people saying Shrek 2 was better. Round three. But apparently, the whole reason we're watching him in the first place is to try and, like, catch up to Puss in Boots. Because apparently that movie, like, the second Puss in Boots was insanely good, wasn't it? No spoilers. So. Yo, that's what I'm excited for, personally. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Puss in Boots was a funny character. I, I, I thought he was a good character. He got fucking owned, but he was pretty funny. Um, also, the whole idea that Fiona is cool being ugly to be with Shrek is like really sweet. I think that's a really cool. Uh, that's really cool to me. Cause Fiona's pretty pretty, right? Like it's not like she was like mid before. It's not like she was mid before. She was pretty pretty. To be honest, she's hotter as an ogre. You got that one, bro. That is your opinion. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the beast, it kind of pissed me off too, but I think that was the whole point. I think it's supposed to piss you off. <laughs> it's supposed to piss you off. Also, today we're watching Harry Potter 4, and uh, I've only seen... Well, prior to this year, I had only seen the first movie and the third movie, but I've read every book. I read every book as it came out. Well, not literally as it came out, right? Because like I was a kid when the first four were out, but I've read every Harry Potter, but I haven't seen the movies. So I'm really excited to see how they bring the Asian girl Cho Chang to life. JK Rowling's racial representation might be the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> That might be the funniest. <laughs> like, she really just did it. <laughs> oh, my hopes are in the. My hopes are exact. I think my expectations are very balanced for J.K. Rowling's representation of different cultures. Kingsley Shacklebolt is the most insane name I've ever heard. And fucking, I can't believe it, bro. That, that and <laughs> she is a menace. Anyways, I'm really excited to see this movie. Because I grew up with Harry Potter. I, I've seen the first movie like 17 times. And I've seen the third movie twice now. And I was a big lover of the books. Nothing is wrong with Kingsley, bro. It's like, why did she name him that? She might as well name a Asian character Panda Express. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So yeah, I'm catching up on a bunch of movies, and the more I catch up on them, the more, like, I'm not sure how much I missed out. Because, yeah, the Irish kid, Seamus Finnegan, loving bombs is insane! <laughs> that is insane! She, like, she, she literally, like, went... Dude, that is so fucked up. Like, this author literally just took a stereotype. She took the most basic stereotype possible and just made an entire character out of it. It's the, like, the most... It's the most... Like, I don't use this word very often. I think it's very appropriate. It's the most Eurocentric book, like, universe I've ever heard of. 
Like, the Indian character she made is literally the most stereotypical Indian name you could think of. Her Asian character is Cho Chang. Like, she is so insane. She's unhinged, bro. That shit is so funny to me. That is so wrong. Like, you have no choice but to see how bad it is. It's, like, indefensible. You know what I mean? Like, like there's some media. Like, Rush Hour 1 and 2 is hella racist. But at least the racism is, like, somewhat reflective of how, like, Asian and black people interact. Right? Like, not, like, holistically. Like, it's not, like, a fully... It's not, like, a fully comprehensive cultural representation, right? But at least... At least it is so racist in both ways that it is funny. <laughs> right? At least it's, like, comedic. J.K. Rowling's is so bad that it's not, like, it, you laugh at it. Right? It's, like, it's not even defensible. It's not even remotely defensible. <laughs> and that's why, that's why it's so ridiculous. It is the most racist content, I think, or, like... It's like, it's not even like, like, how do you say it? Like, cause it's not, I, I want to say it's not bigoted, right? It, like bigoted to me is like hateful. Like there's bigoted content out there designed to be hateful, right? But when I think of JK Rowling, it's just racist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, ignorant. It's like extremely ignorant. That's the best way to put it. It's peak ignorance. That guy did not want to play me again. He did not realize I was ranting about Rush Hour 1. No, but that is the funniest quote in Rush Hour 1. I've been... <laughs> Have you guys all seen Rush Hour 1? There's a part where Chris Tucker... Chris Tucker traps the villain at the very, very end. Yeah, it's probably better that I pull out the clip instead of saying it myself, if you, if you really want to think about that. Uh, there's a part <laughs> where Chris Tucker... Uh, it's hard to type and say it at the same time. Uh, it's it, where he 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 traps the villain at gunpoint at the very very end. At the very very end of the movie, Chinese villain, okay, traps a Chinese villain at the very very end of the movie, and this is what he decided to say. This is what he decided to say. Can you hear it? <laughs> that is so unserious, bro. Yeah, I've been looking for your sweet and sour chicken eggs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, you all alone. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> Audio higher. Okay, one sec. Sorry, I don't have my main monitor on, so I'm like, uh, doing this on OBS. Sour chicken ass. Oh, your boys ain't here now. Where he at? Dang. <laughs> Dude, that shit is so funny. But that scene can only succeed. That scene can only succeed because it happens at the end of the movie. It can only succeed because it happens at the end of the movie after he spent the whole movie with Jackie Chan building that rapport right but if he didn't do that imagine if the movie opened with that scene straight racism right like that's straight racism and it is and it is still extremely racist okay but at least they had the whole movie of building up the rapport if you take that out and just put it at the beginning like imagine the introduction of his character the introduction of his character is him arresting a chinese guy and saying that that would have been insane right it was masterfully crafted racism it was masterfully crafted racism <laughs> it's more funny than racist exactly this guy is punch parrying me nonstop, bro. I'm gonna grab your ass. Wow, he's a genius. Wait, this guy might be the goat.
But it rush hour three. I think was it rush hour two? I think it was rush hour three. Rush hour three was the the one with Kenji, right? The samurai. Rush hour three. He arrests two women. One of them is slight slightly overweight, and he says. <laughs> I can't remember what he says. He makes like a fat comment or something. He's like, oh no, she checks her license and says, damn, you're like, you're not this weight or something, or you need to lose some weight. And she goes, I have a thyroid condition. And she says, well, stop eating thyroid. <laughs> Which is so fucked up. Round three. <laughs> that shit was fucked up. They opened the movie with that, bro. <laughs> They thought the most appropriate way to introduce Chris Tucker's character in the first five minutes of the movie was that. Unbelievable. <laughs> and they said they want to make a Rush Hour 4. That movie is not surviving the modern day. That movie is not, sur that movie is not surviving the modern day. Four is about 50 years too late. This guy is fuzzy ducking for his life. Oh, I thought it hit the wall. Anyways, how long have we been talking about movies? One and a half hours? 22 minutes? I'm excited to see the new Harry Potter though. I grew up with like, I grew up with those characters, right? So like, when like, Emma Watson, like, wa like, <laughs> I almost said something crazy. <laughs> Emma Watson got really hot when I was also starting to get interested in girls, right? Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was a kid. I, all right, there's no way that's. You know what I mean, bro. <laughs> it's really not that crazy of a statement. It's really not that crazy of a statement, but it sounds insane. <laughs> it's really not that insane, but I understand what I've done. I know what you mean, but there was also that fucked up countdown to her turning 16. That is pretty fucked up. I was not a part of that. I was doing math homework. Round three. It's only crazy because she's not hot. I'm banning you, bro. What are you on? Unable to time out user? What? He's immune. Do I have to perma ban him? He's too powerful, bro. Uh, uh. Anyways, editor, we'll definitely have to cut the video now. Probably before the last thing I said. Oh, I thought that would break the wall. Are you a normal streamer? Hell no. There's almost no metric of normal streaming that would define me as a normal streamer. Oh, nice leather. PS5 latency is a lot. It's, it's not that bad. <coughs> oh my God, he got me. It's not that bad, really. Punch Perry. This guy plays like Afro. Oops. I'm dead.
That was the most obvious rage art of all time. Well, Lionheart won. Lionheart won frame traps the rage art. And for some reason, I thought he knew that. So I did the unblockable. So it was actually not a good rage art. It was a bad attack by me. There's a difference. Oh, I'm not supposed to duck that. Normal streamers are usually good at the games they stream. That's fucked up, bro. I thought we were pals. Oh. I blocked that, dude. <clears throat> I'm dead. I'm hungry. Round two. Should I cook? Fight. This rank up is taking forever and it's probably because I'm losing so much. Oh. Punch I wish I could do a cooking stream. I wish I could run replays and just make my food while I'm here. Cook to the ass. Just have fun with the climb? I'm hungry! Did you not miss that part? I'm fine climbing, I'm hungry! <laughs> I'm underprivileged, underserved, and starving! What do you mean have fun playing the video game? <laughs> Guga collab? I watched a lot of Guga actually. Just have fun, bro, he said with a fucking full ass stomach sitting on his couch watching me lose. Have fun, bro. And by the way, teach me how to play this game. I'm ass. What's he going to do? Oh, wow. He's going to evade my jab. A lot of cool setups. How do you feel about the rage arts? Some look so boring. Yeah, the rage arts in this game suck. You ever see, get hit by Jin's rage art? I wish I just lost faster. Oops. <laughs> he keeps trying to fuzzy guard. That was cool. Oh, wow. No. Okay, wait, let me, let me take a, a break and put my steak in the oven. I'm gonna take a break. Bro, don't eat, you're already chubby. <laughs> I bet you thought you were really clever with that one, huh? I bet you thought, hey, I'm gonna go into this chat, I'm gonna say something and everybody in the chat's gonna laugh. Everybody's gonna have a great time. Here's the attention you wanted. My voice cracked, that's crazy. Here's the attention you wanted, bro. Here's the attention you wanted. Right here. Soak it up. I know you wanted it. Have a good time. All right. You got your spotlight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any last words, I didn't want to hear it. Goodbye. See, look, I'm a nice streamer, bro. At least I give them attention. Bro, he was just joking. What the fuck, Lamau? First time chatter. Hmm. Shoot that guy, too. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run an ad. I'll be right back. I'm going to put my steak in the meat. Steak in the meat. I'm going to put my steak in the oven. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> I'll be right. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Uh, we'll be back. Hang tight. <clears throat> All right, it was hard to stick the, the thermometer into the meat. <clears throat> but if you want to look, this is cool. I can see every temperature. It's kind of not really focusing, but it's pretty sick. Emma Watson in 2024 isn't hot. Well, I got a spoiler for you, Butterman Bill. With a name like that and a green-ass username, you're not hot in 2024. Ruining my chances at meeting up with Emma Watson when I get clouded up. You doing sounding, bro? Nice first time chat. See you in 10 minutes. Fuck, I hit the chat's moving too fast.
The current calls, there's nothing within the abyss inside a Tekken stream where FDX has vanished from plain view. It has been days since his return. All we have received are vague messages with Pog and the timeout worked and we were for his return from the Shadow Realm. Well, the game hopper, you must be delayed because I've been here for like two minutes at this point, but... All right, set my alarm. Got a nice reverse seer cooking. What the fuck? Weird. Uh... Might have been a ghost. <laughs> You gotta get sponsored by the meter company? I would love to. I would love to teach gamers to cook a little more. I don't even cook very well. I just cook what I like. You have a video explaining the functions of practice mode? Not super in depth, no. Well, I have a how to enjoy practice mode thing. It's like a brief rundown. Joey Fury talks about it. Do you like Twice? I like some of their music, but I don't like all of it. K-pop has kind of fallen off, like, if we're gonna be real. You have tips about actually teaching Tekken to new people or newbies? Like, brand new people? Teach them to hit buttons and have fun with the big buttons. A lot of my coaching videos with beginners talk about that. Will it grill? <laughs> Twice is pretty. <laughs> An oven cam? That's so much work. Okay, wait, I forgot. The way to end games fast is to do the clinch. That was actually the right punish. He was just too slow. I forgot. I just got to do the clinch. Just kill them. <laughs> Alright, this is purple ranks. Just run your offense. Block when you need to. Run your offense on the other times. Throws. Sonic Fang. Oh. Uh-oh. She died! Rage Art. You win. How you get out of purple ranks? Watch closely. You gotta play a lot of frame traps and survive your opponent's offense. Oops. Oh my god, it's a jab evasion. Break throws. <laughs> Do punishment. Punishment. Oh my god, I can't sidestep the second hit? What? Is this a punish? Oh, it is! <coughs> 2D fighters? I like Dragon Ball fighters. I like Street Fighter 6, but not that much. You can't break the initial clinch. You have to guess between 1 and 2 for the rest of the clinch throws, though. Wow, I just backdashed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a lot of chip damage. Oh, nice parry. It's a high. Yeah, you have to duck it. Oh my god. Ow! She healed! Round three. 
Jesus, this combo. That combo was really bad. <laughs> it just looked cool. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I could have. I could have died. That was crazy. Now I did tornado at the beginning. Harder to climb ranks in Asia for sure. My apologies. Oh, no worries. He's about to be my rank. Trolling his ass off feels bad. Well, half of it is trolling. Half of it is just not dying, right? And that not dying part is built over four years plus of dying. So it's not really straight trolling. I think that's the wrong way to look at it. Oh my god, my back dash got clipped. Oh, no punish? Oh, nice. That was fire. Uppercuts! See, he's not punishing. You gotta get your block punishes down to get out of purple ranks. You got a lot, people got a lot of offense going into purple, but they're not getting their punishment. So the opponent all has a bunch of like god moves, right? Oh, oh that was a good mid. I ducked. That's my problem, knowing when to hit after I block on certain characters. Yeah, exactly. So you have to start filling in that knowledge slowly. It's not going to come instantly. It's going to be frustrating. But there's no shortcut around it. So. I didn't mean to do that. Wow. Well. Month two of a Tekken game? Tekken is hard, you guys. <laughs> Tekken is a multi-year game of improvement. Nice defense. He did not crack. Right, like a lot of people's offense right now is built on setups. But when is he going to block low? <laughs> Look how much HP I got off that. Nice. Got me. Do you get sick of getting asked shit all the time? Um, I like answering questions. I only get... I, I like answering questions when people are trying really hard to learn. There are definitely different genres of questions, right? So, like, the questions that really bug me are the people that... Understandably, don't have a lot of consideration for my life. <laughs> so, like... People are like, play this character. Make this guide. You know, like that shit kind of like is annoying over time, but um, questions that are honest, like, hey, how do I deal with like this character's situation here? I like specific questions. I like questions where it feels like the person asking the question is putting in effort proportional to the effort I'm putting in answering the question, right? And it's not always the asker's fault. Sometimes the asker just doesn't know how to ask the question. 
and I don't mind that. But there are people who definitely ask questions who are kind of just expecting me to give them the perfect answer and don't really care how they phrase it or don't care like how much effort it takes to understand what they're asking. Basically, if it's like a skill issue, nice, that was a good read. If it's like a skill issue, like some people just don't know how to ask questions, that's fine. If there's a skill, oh, wow, this guy's cooking me. This guy's fired up. Oh. If it's a skill issue, I don't really care that much. But if it's like a lack of consideration as a person, it's a bit weird. Oh my god, that didn't work. No whiff punish VDX? Oh, I blocked that. I'm crazy. That was cool. <clears throat> Do you think Dragonov is tournament viable while in grand finals of a tournament with two Dragonovs on three? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've had like... I've had people like also like I'm in a tournament and it's it has my scoreboard at the top It says grand finals like two to two final round <coughs> And a dude will come in and ask like Like and then like the, the matchup is like Lily versus Dragonov or Lily versus Brian And a dude will come in and ask like how do I deal with Yoshimitsu? And I'm like are you even looking at the screen bro? <laughs> like, <laughs> like there's no Yoshimitsu on screen <laughs> like, did you beat Raccoon? I didn't have to fight Raccoon. Or like, I had a dude who had a problem with my Korean backdash guide. He said there was an issue with it that seemed too vague and was possibly confusing to other beginners, right? And I was kind of interested in that kind of feedback, right? What if they're asking the chat? No, they ping me. They ping at FDX. Um... Uh, and then, so he was saying, like, the, the guy was confusing. And his whole first message was a, like, maximum character limit. Like, uh, how, like, a uh, maximum character limit. So I was seeing your guy, dot, dot, dot. And I had a few thoughts, dot, dot, dot. About how, you know, like, I'm like, okay, dude. I, I, I told him, like, as a joke, like, you don't have to clickbait me in my own chat. I'm reading. Like, I, I will read what you have to say. Just say what you have to say. And he's like, I know, but if I don't say it right, you won't read it. I'm like, okay, well, you have my acknowledgement that I'm reading it now, so please let me know what your feedback is. Four ranked games later, five messages later, he did the same thing, and then the message was, yeah, your input says to do this, but your words say to do this, which do I follow? And I said, bro, in the guide, I say, whatever happens refer to the inputs and he's like yeah but it was confusing maybe you should pin a comment that explains this and i just said thank you for the feedback i just said thank you for the there was nothing else i could say <laughs> oh i could have gotten a way better combo and like the only reason so like and like i said if it's a skill issue i don't mind right but there is like, when it's clear, like when it's not like a clear lack of goodwill or effort and it demands like my patience to like try and not like blow up at people, not because they deserve to be blowed up on, but because it is frustrating sometimes. I have to be super careful because there are always people waiting for me to mess up. And that's not even like a paranoia thing. Like when I put up that video of like me, like Roasting the red rank guy who asked the question in a weird way and we're like on good terms like I helped him Afterwards and like we were we were on good terms, right? I like put up that video and people were saying shit like the fame got to my head shit like that And I was like, okay, whatever and then dudes started going to my VODs to find evidence of me like flaming other people and then on future videos I posted they would refer back to those so, like, people are actually, like, just looking for shit to be mad about. Get ready for the next battle. And it's, like, on YouTube. So, if I, like, start deleting comments and shit, that's not good either, right? So, I just have to hold a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit I just have to hold. Round one. <laughs> Dima the Duchess says people are just bored. Yeah. There's just a lot of shit you have to just hold. And, like, that's kind of the blessing and the curse of being a... I think being an entertainment for for money 
is like, yeah, like it's really, really lucrative. And it's honestly, it's a lot of fun. Like I'm having a lot of fun streaming and making content, but there's some shit you just have to hold. And I'm not really, I'm not really a, I've never been good at ignoring shit. Like I grew up a very sheltered suburban Asian boy whose number one concern was making his family happy and doing math, right? And <laughs> so like, and those were related. Um, so it's hard to ignore shit. I'm not like built to ignore shit. Like I didn't grow up in like a big city or like around a lot of people to like ignore stuff. So I'm, I have a really, really poor filter. And that's what makes it the hardest thing for me. Gotta take the, yeah, exactly. You have to take the high road is the best choice. And like, again, I feel really fortunate that I've been able to grow so fast. But I don't have a lot of the experience of these bigger YouTubers who uh, have understood more of how to, like, filter stuff out. So I've gotten a lot of really good advice lately, and I really appreciate it. But it's been... It was pretty hard. Like, March was a really hard month learning how to ignore shit. <laughs> and, like, care less. And, like, go outside more. Especially because I do daily uploads. It's like, I really don't go outside a lot. I'm really... A, I have a really virginic lifestyle. There's really no other way to put it. <laughs> I have a really virginic lifestyle. So, not going outside and only seeing like Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube comments is brutal. Somebody texted me hi. That's a little scary. I don't know who that is. I hope it's not uh, a FDX op. Virginic as an adjective is crazy. <laughs> Listen, man, I think it's a funny ass adjective. My friend, <laughs> my friend said something like, "FDX is the the biggest virgin who has a girlfriend that I know." <laughs> It is a very, very, whoa, cool combo. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't punish it. Virginic, not CK. Virgin, Virgin, I-C-A-L-L-Y. Virginic Ali. <coughs> would you like if they buffed these Tekken 7 moves instead of Tekken 8 stuff? Uh, probably. Down for 2 homing would be cool. Have you gotten plugged on yet? Not today. If they strike you down, you'll only become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. That's really corny, but I appreciate the sentiment. Will you make a video of explaining like Tekken fighting game terms and show examples like flowchart, keep out, frame trap, spring? Uh, maybe. Oh, my cook time estimate is ready. An hour? Man. I'm hungry. Why do you cook steak for an hour? I put it in the oven and I really slow cook it. Like, uh, really cook it slow so it renders a lot of the fat. And I get it to the perfect internal temperature. And then I, uh, I, uh, pan sear it. Reverse sear, exactly. Meter 2.0. Do you consider Steve a non-conventional character? Uh, well, I have a hard time picking up. Well, I have no idea what kind of player you are. I don't know what your fighting game experience is. So I don't know if you'll have a hard time picking him up. Steve is definitely different. But I think his difficulty is over, overplayed. I do think that he is a challenging character. But once you master his stuff, like, like, I think he's hard to pick up, easy to master. Uh, okay, hang on. Let me, let me be precise. The initial learning curve for Steve is really high. Because he behaves very different from other Tekken characters. However, once you understand how to do his moves and his stances, it's actually pretty straightforward to play this character. How far do you think you can go with Steve without stance canceling? And that's like, so for me, I never even consider that question. For me, I consider the game from the perspective of learning things as much as you can. Right? So if there's a thing the character can do that is reasonable to do, like, it's not, uh, like, it's not a... Well, let me, let me, let me explain that first, and I'll explain how do you determine if it's reasonable to do or not, right? So if, if there is a thing the character can do that is reasonable to do, I feel like you should learn it. Right? 
Because if your goal is to learn and improve, why not learn the things that you need to learn to improve? Right? Oh my god, I didn't kill. Right? That, to me, it just makes sense to learn it. Now, what determines reasonable to learn? Well, as you're learning a game, there's probably different priorities, right? So, like, learning Steve's stance cancels is probably less of a priority than learning to, like, backdash cancel. Or learning, like, to block, right? So, in that sense, yes, there are other things you can focus on first. But it's not something I would put off, like, never learn it, right? And there's probably some basic things you can focus on, like, canceling a uh, flicker, like, back one into flicker. Or canceling uh, one two one two into forward duck, right? So like, though there are basics, and then there are like niche things, and determining that can be a bit challenging. Like that is probably the hard part. Is like, what do I decide to focus on? And that's where talking to other players can help. That's where uh, watching footage and seeing what is used most often can help. Like if you watch me play Steve, you'll see he does the bare essentials, right? He's not doing a lot of, like, side ducking and stuff like that. He'll just do, like, uh, oh my god. Can I play? Down forward two into duck. And then that. Right? Oh my god, he's getting cooked by that. That was crazy. Uh, right? Or, like, a back one into ducking forward for the combo. But I think trying to explicitly get by without learning something is a unique brand of gaming that I do not resonate with. I wouldn't say it's improper, it's just uh, it doesn't make sense to me, personally. It doesn't make sense to me as someone who has been obsessed with success in the past and has come to a position where I think learning is the most valuable thing you can pursue, more than success. So, I value success or, uh, learning based approaches way more than success based ones. So when you ask how far you can go, I don't know, and I personally don't evaluate that. I value more, is this reasonable to learn in the span and pacing of learning things as a beginner? Do you think it's better to use an arcade controller? Not necessarily. A lot of good players play on a uh, controller. Oh, 13 frames. Nice. Oh my god, I didn't block. <laughs> What helped you make the switch from a success-based mindset to a learning one? I played... Uh, okay. Actually, that's a long story. That's like my life story. <laughs> that's kind of my life story. So I grew up from... Ages 4 to... 17 being told I was going to go to Harvard. So literally my entire life from age 4 was kind of structured around that. And then... When I... Applied to colleges when I was... a uh, 17 I had like straight A's I did like a million different things played a bunch of music shit like that I got waitlisted at 14 of like like we applied to all the top ranked schools right so I, I got waitlisted at like 14 or 12 of them and then denied by all of them and then uh this was 10 years ago or 11 years ago and then the only schools I got accepted at were like my two backup schools which again is probably not a big deal to some people but you have to consider the fact that like my entire life was structured around that and I was taught this idea that at age 18 it's like it's kind of like how it like determines the rest of your life like you turn 18 and then if you get into a good college you're set and then if you don't you're fucked that was like the mindset I grew up and I, I didn't really like challenge authority as a kid so I just bought into that belief right so um, that was my life and that was what happened at the same time that I didn't get into those colleges, uh, I lost the last student body election, which I really cared about because I was class president for three years. And then, um, I also had to like give up working on my YouTube channel. Like I was doing music at the time and I really liked it. I was doing really well. And then my senior recital also went like really horribly. So I had like a string of a lot of failures for things that I really cared about in a very success based mindset. So, uh, that was probably the most difficult thing I'd gone through, which in the grand scheme of life is probably not difficult to some people. But again, my whole life was kind of built on that idea. So, damn, I got shit on. So, when I went to college, I basically 
kind of autopiloted because I was like, well, no matter how hard I work, I'm going to get like this X amount of result, which is like right below excellence, right? So I might as well not really try and just do what I want to do. So in college, I really didn't do a lot of shit. I just played a bunch of League of Legends and Smash Bros. And like cruised through the education part. And then trying to do that, I... Uh, I was hard stuck plat uh, well I, I didn't get out of silver my first year and then I was hard stuck platinum for four years and throughout that entire process I was living with the same mindset that I did before which was like success based you need to be top x percent otherwise you're not really worthwhile stuff like that right so I spent four years in platinum paying for coaching um studying the game playing like 12 hours a day and i couldn't get out of platinum right and so i thought i was like okay so i'm kind of just fucked as a gamer there's not really a lot i can do oh my bad you didn't punish me oh i'm dead as shit for sure uh this is really hard to talk about while i play <laughs> i'm dead so uh how did i get out of that well basically i had those four years and I really wanted to hit diamond because I wanted to like stream and like boost for money so um, when I couldn't hit it I was like okay you spent the past four years trying to live with this same mindset right like the same idea that if you are like very mentally mean to yourself and very harsh on yourself and aren't like like I thought fun was for like weak people like you're only allowed to have fun if you were like weak so if you're not having fun and you're like not you know enjoying what if you're if, if you are enjoying the process and like not having a good time then you're like you're trolling you're not trying hard enough it was like suffering was part of the formula for success in my mind right so after those four years i was like okay great uh you've spent the last four years trying this experiment right this experiment of trying to succeed with this mentality so only an idiot is going to try the same experiment for a fifth year and think it's going to work right like all like like the definition of insanity type you know that quote like so i decided okay you're in the off season your only mission for this season is to not care as much so whenever you make a mistake, you're not going to like throw your mouse. You're not going to like get get upset. You're going to just chill out and like go to the next play. And then I hit diamond three in 50 games. So after that, I was like, oh, OK. So I was trolling this whole time. And now I understand that. And I was always nice to like other people, but I never afforded that patience to myself. And then I understood now that it's like, oh, okay, you, there really is a balance of like, like being harsh on yourself for no reason is just as ineffective as like coping. Like, like if you are a, you know, like scrub quotes, the scrub quote is just the other side. Like being overly negative to yourself is just the other side of scrub coding. Like if you can't do anything right and or if you if you're doing things fine you're like oh I'm ass oh I'm ass oh I'm ass constantly which is what I do on the stream but it's more of a meme right I'm not as serious about it as I used to be. Uh, it's just the other side of scrub coding where you're like I can't do anything wrong it's always the game's fault. The other side is oh I'm always doing something wrong it's never anything else's fault. And both of those are equally bad. So that's how I started arriving at the process of oh I should do it because it's fun. I should do it because I enjoy learning. And like, you know, if the task isn't fun, like, why are you doing it? It's a video game, you know? So now, like, yes, I still have my beliefs on what optimal play is. But I also acknowledge that not all of us are like wired for that, right? Like, it'd be really cool if I could play the game like me, but I'm not built for that. I'm supposed to play the game like FDX. And I want to do that as well as I can. And if that means I have to play Lily and Noctis and like all these characters that people think are lame, but I'm having fun, then that's cool. And I think that matters way more because life is way too short <laughs> to care about anything else. Losing my mind, please God, FDX duck it. So I was unpacking probably 11 years of the most formative experiences in my life to try and teach people 
why to care less about rank and their results and care more about the results. And your concern is that I wasn't ducking a string? <laughs> what the fuck? What's up, Mark, man? <laughs> You don't think that if I were just focusing on the game, I could duck that damn string? <laughs> That's another thing too. I uh, I was helping somebody, like somebody asked, I'm trying to coach a friend, but I get so mad every time they make mistakes. And that was something that also confused me. But I also have had friends like that, where like they get mad watching other people be unable to do something when they're trying to help them. And I've started, I think, understanding that as like people who coach for themselves, not for the other person. And yes, coaching is always a bit of both, right? The only reason coaches coach is because they get a bit of satisfaction out of it, right? So of course there's a bit of both. But to that extreme to me never really made sense. And I think what it is is just like, again, it's a really focus on that results-based mindset more than the progress, right? Understanding why somebody is messing something up is way more valuable than expecting them to just do the right thing because you coach them. Like, they're supposed to get it. I taught them, you know? Oh, I blocked that. Oh, my bad. I mashed. Oh god, that was a trap. I'm gonna die! I mashed. Can you please talk about your emotional trauma and low parry all of his straight? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> it's difficult for people to put themselves in the mind of a beginner once they pass that stage. Yeah, exactly. And that's something that's something I've always valued is like the mindset of a beginner. I remember being a kid and being really annoyed that like adults would laugh at me in certain situations where I was being a kid. Like I would fuck something up because I was a kid and adults would think that was funny. And I was like, I don't think that's very funny because this is my first time here. But you guys get that, I guess. I'm, I'm a kid. I got to hold that. I didn't really like that. So it's probably related to fuck to that. It's oh oh here we go and this is full circle now I can now that I gave all this context this is why I hate people that's it this is why I hate people no this is why I hate people who are like dick riders for the Dark Souls community right I'm not like so so this is why I hate that okay and let me explain this is why I hate this okay I I love this topic the Dark Souls dick riding community is not built on the idea of enjoying a game because of the learning process or enjoying the lore or the art. They like that game because of how frustrating it is when they fail. They feel like they succeeded and they want to pass on that suffering, right? And do you know how obvious that is? Look at the tips they drop on the ground. Jump here. Jump here. No, fighting games, you can have fun learning. Dark Souls, the first game in particular, I think Sekiro has done a great job of being different and Bloodborne as well. But um, Dark Souls 1 in particular, because I only played one and then I, I watched like somebody, I played like a bit of three, right? The game is not built on the idea of learning. The game is built on the idea that you're supposed to fail enough times to have seen everything. I'm gonna mess up this combo. Nice block. No. Well, I broke that! I'm dead. Nice. And then, um... So... So, it sounds like you need to get good. No, and this is what I'm saying. I have no problem playing a hard game. I have no problem playing a hard game. I can play Mega Man, die a million times, and have fun. It's not the way of learning, and I'm going to explain why. I'm not... I'm going to explain why. I can play Mega Man. I can play Contra. I can play all these old ass games that were built to make you lose in order to keep you playing for your monetary value in arcades or buying their $60 chip that was really expensive to manufacture. These old games literally had to trick you into losing, right? They had to really beat the shit out of you. Okay? 
that was so these old games i grew up on these games mega man x mega man regular mega man those games are hard as shit okay and they're built in a very similar manner right now the reason why i like those games instead of dark souls is because once you get good at those games you get to profit on that skill when you get good at mega man you can play a brand new Mega Man stage and have intuition. Oh, they like to build the platforms like this. Oh, this enemy pattern is kind of like this. I can kind of speed run my way through a new Mega Man level because of the skills I developed playing the previous levels, right? If I focused on getting good at what the, the, the designers wanted me to get good at, then I could see skill development. And in Dark Souls 1, in Dark Souls 1, that is not the case. That is not the same in Dark Souls. That is not the same in Dark Souls. If you, you guys are not, <laughs> and this is why I wanted to have this conversation. There is a difference between memorizing the pattern of the enemy you're fighting and memorizing game intuition that the overall game teaches you. And this is a similar thing that people have with Tekken. People say in Tekken, People say in Tekken that everything is a knowledge check, right? And in Tekken 8, it's actually more true than it was before, to be fair. Tekken 8 is actually more of a knowledge check than before. But if you play Tekken Tag 2, Tekken 6, Tekken 5, Tekken 8, or sorry, Tekken 7 in the beginning, you can start to develop intuition for high and low strings and high and mid strings. For example, that Reina string, the four things into the high kick, I didn't know that last hit was a high. So if you watch that whole first game, you would see if you watch that whole first game, you would see that I didn't duck a single of the high strings, right? I'm gonna pull up Raina now and demonstrate. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up this uh, as a direct example. Look at this. So what was Raina doing over and over and over again? And I promise this is all related. And by the way, I think FromSoft makes genius universes. The lore and the genius behind their level design. The atmosphere, the zero direction style gameplay, I like that. That shit is good. I was specifically talking about the community, okay? But let me continue explaining. Reyna had this string that she kept doing over and over, over and over and over again. Uh, I think it's Sting the Works. This move. I had no idea this was a, this last hit was a high. I had no idea. What did I do? First thing I did is I tried to punish her. And you can block it normally. And after I tried the whole first game to punish her, I realized, oh, it's safe. No strings in Tekken have this many hits and are safe. So the last hit must be a high. And then I ducked it and launched it. That is intuition built over experience and skill development. That is what I'm talking about. I did not lab this string. I did not know the frame data, but because my jab punish wasn't hitting, I can understand that ducking the last hit, right? That is a skill that is skill based in intuition. Now let me explain what happened in Dark Souls 1 when I played that game. You fight a new boss. Okay? The general pattern of fighting a boss, the general fighting, the general yeah, level design, the level design in Dark Souls for sure. You can develop intuition on um like what is a fake wall, right? Where are the items going to be? That you can develop intuition on. Okay? You can jump certain distances. That's intuition. That's cool. The boss design is always the same thing. When you fight a boss in Dark Souls, it's walk up to them until you trigger, until you trigger their aggro, right? They have different aggro ranges. When you walk up to a certain distance, you're going to trigger their, their attack pattern, okay? They either have attack instantly with a slow windup, attack twice with a slow windup, attack three times with a slow windup. Cool. You have to see those animations and learn it, okay? Now here's the fourth one. They can attack two times and then delay and then do the fourth hit. Oh, what does that boil down to from a gameplay standpoint? From a gameplay standpoint, what does that boil down to? What does that boil down to? You know what it is? I wait or I wait more. Or I wait even more. That's it. Right? That's why Sekiro is so cool. Sekiro is cool because at least you have active gameplay. You can swing at them and then read their retaliation. 
that's why Sekiro is really cool because you get to actually interact right it's a negative it's a negative for me because people are saying that shit is hard that shit is not hard that shit is a time sink that shit is a time sink to mem and and say for example you memorize boss one's pattern right the whole appeal of boss number two is my animation is a little bit different. You just said Tekken is the same, and I literally just proved an example why it's not true. I literally just gave you an example of how you can develop intuition of why that's not true. So if you don't believe me here, I'm sorry. That's all I have to say. I literally just gave an example why, okay? So um, the difference with Dark Souls is not only, like the whole point of Tekken is you get past those strings, you get past those strings, you develop the skill, and then you move on. And then they give you new things to interact with. So people are saying Melania is the anti-Dark Souls, or like the anti-Souls 1 pattern. I didn't see that boss fight, so I can't comment on that, and I'm not going to slander something I can't comment on, right? I'm specifically talking about Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1, you clear the first boss, you're like, great, there's this pattern of roll, wait, attack, roll, wait, attack, cool. The next boss is either the same thing or learn their new animation, okay, cool. Then you run into a boss where they have like a one shot pattern, right? Where they do roll attack, roll attack, roll attack. You actually clear a bit. You clear like halfway through. And then they have this one shot thing that you have to survive. And usually you're not going to know it's coming because you've never seen that boss. You've never seen that animation. So, so what do you do? You die to it and then walk all the way back. Okay, cool. What does this boil down to? Most of my gaming experience in that game was walking back to the boss fight was walking back to the boss fight at least in Sekiro I can fight my way back to the boss fight right I can fight the boss I can play the game I'm not playing the game in Dark Souls 1 when I'm walking back to the boss and walking back to the boss and rolling and walking it's not a skill issue because I can do it I beat the entire game the part, the reason why it's not fun is because all I'm doing is rolling and walking. Comparing DS1 to Sekiro isn't fair. No, it is fair because Mega Man 1 was still fun. Mega Man 2 was fun. Mega Man 3 was fun. <laughs> now, again, I'm not slandering the world building, the level design, and all this shit. What I was saying is, the Dark Souls community loves that feeling. They love the feeling of watching a new player play and say, Ha! You got got! Just like I did! That is the feeling I hate. That is what I don't like. The whole community loves that feeling, bro. They want you to jump off that fucking cliff because they got told by somebody else to jump off that cliff. Stop yapping and turn out some more ranked gameplay. Shut the fuck up, orange name. That is what they like. You can come back in 10 minutes. You're not shut up forever, you know? You're not shut up forever. Good English. That is what pisses me off. If, you've play, if you play Tekken Scrubs, like people who are hard stuck, they'll do the same thing. If you I fight people who are actually good at Tekken, if you fight people who are actually good at Tekken, they want to teach you. Yeah, they'll have a little laugh if you get got by something, right? Like, oh, you got to block low and then they hit you mid. Yeah, they're going to laugh because it's funny. But they're not trying to keep you in that space. They're trying to level you up to the next part so they can interact with you. So they can level up the mind game. They're going to do this and be like, haha, you need to duck and they hit you with the mid and they'll laugh one time. And then it's like, okay, actually, though, you need to gauge the risk reward. This and that. What about the PvP people? I can't comment on the PvP because I didn't play it, right? I'm strictly commenting on the idea that Dark Souls is a hard game because you die a lot. I didn't say anything. Welcome, orange name. Sorry, I profiled, I profiled by orange names. Right? I'm not going to comment on PvP because I didn't play it. So it's not fair of me to give a criticism on something. Is that All Might? No, it's not. My bad. I saw the colors and like the hair. Actually, maybe it is. The community argument does not land for me at all. You were just talking about constructive and destructive behavior. In my opinion, this is present in most subcultures. Sure, that might be my bias. I can acknowledge that. I can acknowledge that maybe my experience is unique in that sense. I can acknowledge that. Just like it for me, Tekken has been a very positive community experience and some people have had really negative ones. So I think that's fine. But I also think 
that it is hard to deny that the very first Dark Souls game is built on that design pattern. Oh my god, wait, I'm dead. I'm pretty sure it is built on that design pattern of fuck you, you tried to learn a pattern, eat a dick. And Tekken does have some of that. Tekken will have some of that. I'm never gonna deny that Tekken doesn't have that. But the lack of interaction in the intuition building is where I have the problem. Especially those one-shot patterns, right? The Paul Phoenixes of the Dark Souls bosses are really fucking annoying. <laughs> the Wi-Fi laws of the... <laughs> I did not feel that all in Dark Souls 1. Tekken 8 is my first Tekken, and I feel the knowledge checking a lot more. I'm not gonna lie to you, Tekken 8 is a way harder game than Dark Souls 1. Tekken 8 is a way harder game. <laughs> and unfortunately, there's no way I can sugarcoat that. It's a PvP game. They have intentionally made a lot of the Tekken things harder. Also, if you are a Dark Souls 1 player, you cannot play passively in this game. If you are the type of person who thrived at like, and that was me. In Tekken 7, I was a backdash player, right? So I was very defensive, wait and see what happens and react. You can't play that way in Tekken 8. And that's why Tekken 8 is so hard for so many people. If you come from Soulsborne culture, Tekken 8 is one of the hardest things to play because you cannot sit there and wait. You have to attack. One of the, like, look at me. I'm defending. I'm losing. I have to attack and I have to be correct. And that's really hard. That's really hard in a Tekken game. It's really hard. Oops, messed up. Do you ever throw Steve raw three or four during neutral? No, not really. What was I talking about before this? I was talking about learning over results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, maybe the editor could take out the Dark Souls rant. I hate every time I do this conversation. It's just annoying. How do you reverse that tackle? You just mash one plus two. I'll enjoy Nio. Uh, I think, is it Neo or Nio? I think Neo has pretty girls, so that's the only reason I would like it better. Are you gonna play the Elden Ring DNC? I have not played, I, I bought Elden Ring, never, I, I bought Elden Ring and installed it. And because I installed it, I couldn't refund it. So no. Get ready. <laughs> Did I say DNC? I meant DLC. I'm not gonna stream Elden Ring when Tekken 8 exists. If you don't like Dark Souls 3 combat, you'll hate Elden Ring. All right, perfect. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. For me, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3 did not, I did not experience a big quality of life buff. I would rather play Sekiro. Did you like Bloodborne? Uh, I liked it more, but I didn't get far enough to like make an informed opinion. Yeah, and part of the thing about the like success versus learning based mindset is it's important to recognize if you're having fun in the activity where you are engaging in the learning based mindset. So some people, so some people will engage in a learning based mindset, what they think is a learning based mindset in like Tekken, but they don't actually like the game. So it's not worth doing. If you don't like Tekken, don't do it. Like that's why I flame Dark Souls is because I don't like doing it, but that, that, that's why I don't play the game. I'm not, you're not gonna hear me do this rant and then boot up the game and then complain more. So Sekiro is cool. Um, Sekiro is cool. Uh, Bloodborne was cool too, but the only reason I would ever play Elden Ring is to just prove myself right and people won't believe me anyways. So there's really no point for me doing it. Get ready. And I say prove myself right, not in the sense that like I'm right about this game objectively. It's like I'm right about the way that I enjoy games and it's going to disagree with the people who do enjoy those games. And ultimately, just like music, I don't think it's worth coming after people for the stuff they enjoy. Just stop trying to get me to enjoy it. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I was talking about why people get mad at other people for failing. In my experience, it's a similar mindset. Or they're adjacent. I love sharing my enjoyment with other people, so I understand that energy. But I also understand that you can't force people to enjoy what you like. Marine Stadium is peak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, XL Buttons, thank you for the sub and B Deedle. Pug Guy, thanks for gifting a sub and rarely lol. Noob for God, thanks for the cheer. And Rob, thanks for subbing. Appreciate you guys. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that punish was fire! I meant to sidewalk. Somebody asked about FF14 raids. I actually think FF14 raids are kind of uh, not the same thing. There's a lot of intuition in FF14 raids. It's actually really cool playing with somebody who is really good at that game and they know how the patterns are like supposed to be and they can teach you about it sooner even though they're both seeing it for the first time. So it's a similar like strain. It's a similar strain of like learning style, right? But. At least the intuitive development is there. Basically, I like the idea of a game rewarding you for playing the game more than shitting on you for it. I like the idea of rewarding learning. And Tekken is all about that. Tekken just has so much that it feels like you're not being rewarded for a long time. My bad. Oh. oh god. Oh no, I didn't react. Yeah, Rocket League is really cool for that reason too. Although it's a team game and team games are rough, but the idea of getting good at Rocket League is really cool to me. So many parries, bro. <coughs> Oops. Her costume is really cool, though. That was a cool costume. I've been shit on way more in Tekken than Dark Souls. Yeah. Favorite books? Um, I don't have very many. I don't read enough. I should read more. Talk about being a Tekken a knowledge check is more of a character knowledge check or a system check? Both. It has both. But if you see a, an experienced Tekken player fight a brand new Tekken character, they can develop intuition. Right? And so there is more of a skill component than people give it credit for. And then there's also more of a knowledge check component than experienced players will give noobs credit for. So it goes both ways. If I lose in Dark Souls, the boss doesn't teabag me and DM me to Sudoku myself. Is that true? I feel like there's a boss that does make fun of you when you die. And it was like, oh my god, you made fun of me. Oh my god. Round three. Fight. My favorite part of Dark Souls, I think, was like, there was this shit where you like time traveled to Anor Orlando or something, and like you kill a guy in the past or something. I don't remember. It felt like Ocarina of Time. That shit was cool. That was one I really liked. What was that bot? What was that situation? The Wolf Knight? Maybe that's what it was, yeah. Oh. I'm dead. I'm okay? Wow, nice duck. Jesus Christ. Have you played Sifu? No, but a lot of my friends have. That game looks fun. Artorius? Maybe it's Artorius. No, no, no. Not that one. Not that one. I, uh, the Artorius fight is cool, but that's not what I'm talking about. 
I'm talking about it's like in Anne Orlando or something. Law Trek. Yeah, yeah, that one. That one. That dude. I forgot what happened though. Is that a punish or no? My steak is ready! People run! Zadai Zafina! Oh my god. Oh wait, no, I have time, I have time. I have like two seconds. Oh god. I'm sorry, Meter, I'll be there. He can smell my haste, no kidding. Oh my god. Bruh! No! My meat! Oh my god! No! <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. Okay, okay. GG's, I have to take my meat out of the oven. I'll be back. Wait, she canceled on me too, so it's fine, right? Okay, I can't. I uh, I have to. I for, I also trolled. I didn't season my meat, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run an ad, and then I'm gonna run a video while I make my lunch, and then. Unse I know. Well, it was the I, I, unseasoned in the in the sense of like, I seasoned it now, but I was supposed to season it before I put it in the oven. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some videos. You guys might like this video actually. It's Tekken Seven, but it's really cool. In November, to the U.S., uh, there was. All right. If you oh. follow Tekken East, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Yeah, exactly. Uh. I'm going to sear my meat. Uh, I'll eat it up here. But, uh... To perfection. Yeah, okay, give me a sec. Uh...
Full screen. Where's the chat? Maybe it's better without the chat. If you follow Tekken Esports in any capacity, then the name Ni nee should not be a mystery to you. Everybody's heard of the man. He's won. All right, I'll be right back. Over Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Tekken Short break. Titles. I think he's won over 110 Tekken tournaments to this day. Getting his start in, I believe, Tekken Tag 1, he's cruised through Tekken 5 DR to become one of the greats of the game through this day to Tekken 7 and probably on through Tekken 8. Now, uh, Nii's been talked about to death, but one of the, my favorite analyses on Nii is this video. I keep pointing it the wrong way, this is new to me. Is this video, Nii's Legendary Jab. If you haven't seen this, go check it out. Just Google that, Nii's Legendary Jab. It's an analysis by Speed Kicks. Uh, I also do a review on it uh, that you can check out if you like, uh, where we go over basically, I said we. Speed Kicks goes over the depth of how good Nii is at using his jab to change the way the opponent plays entirely. Now, many people thought, well, that's old school. That's Tekken, that's Tekken 5. Can you really do that nowadays? Well, you clicked on this video, so you know the answer to that. This is a match I had with Nii in Tekken 7. We played a first to five Noctis versus Fang. I've started telling this story a million times, but if this is the first time you're watching me, I gotta tell it again. Nii came down in November to the US. Uh, there was a Tekken 8 showcase, so it wasn't quite a tournament, it was more an exhibition where all the past seven EVO champions from Tekken 7 competed in a Tekken 8 event. And because they were here so long in the US, and because it wasn't a super serious tournament, my thought was, why don't I just go to their hotel, set up my stream, and see if I can get them to play games with me? It's not like they're resting, you know, like, they're probably really bored if there's nowhere to go around, so... Maybe I could just play some Tekken with them. Well, it turned out it worked, and I'm going to upload a video on the full story. But for now, we've got a great match that I want to show you guys. So, me on Fang versus me on Noctis. Now, I want to first talk about uh, the matchup very briefly. If you don't care about this at all and you just want to watch the match, jump to the timestamp below. But, quick rundown on Noctis versus Fang. So... Noctis, you all know, for having big sword moves and being a very, very oppressive person in neutral. He has really good DLC movement, and he has really strong counter hit options. What I want to do for you here is kind of paint the weaknesses in this matchup, not to downplay him, but to show how Ni is going to abuse these things, okay? So Noctis has really good control, but medium speed. His down forward one comes out at 13 frames. He also has the up forward one, I should point out. A big counter hit launch. He has down forward four to track one sidestep, but not both. And back two is basically linear, even though it's a really strong poking mid. His two two and down back one, one plus two are his famous sword and dagger moves, but they each track a different direction. So if you want to beat Noctis, you're going to do a lot of sidestep right, okay? Two two is the only move he has that covers that in addition to down back three and down two. Only move. He has a few moves that do it, but most of his mids or most of his pokes are weak to sidestep right. Is the legendary forward forward one plus two homing safe counter hit launching mid that's unparryable advancing safe did i miss one really really good down back three is his key low and i'm going to elaborate on this in a second but this also has tracking both directions and finally his 20 frame low is down two he doesn't have many lows that operate um in this range and if you're wondering about the big sword moves the aura and the big spear He's knee. He's going to block them. So those are not even part of the picture unless I get really, really lucky. They're not part of the game plan. Now, Noctis' key weakness that Fang will look to abuse is poor defensive poking. So he has no generic down four and he has no crouch jab. These are the fastest options most characters have to get out of oppressive offense. And Fang, as I'm about to cover, is built on this oppressive offense. So, Fang Wei. Right here. Goosh. Wow, we even overflowed. I've been typing too much. Hang on. Let me get that to fit in here. Nice. So Fang, advancing jab. He has a really, really good jab. And that counters 2-2 two, two, and down back 1-1 one, one plus 2 because he can use his movement to get in the range and then do a quick dash jab. And if his timing is good, he counter hits my poke and it dissuades me from using it. It's obviously not like Colossal Reward or anything, but if he shuts down my options, it makes it harder for me to play. Back four, uh, Fang's uh, little hook kick, fish hook, is a 12-frame mid that tracks both directions. That nullifies Noctis' really strong movement at close range. 
And minus nine against Noctis is not so bad. Giving up your turn against Noctis isn't a big deal when he doesn't really have like a hell sweep type move. Yes, he has a demo man, but backdashing it is usually really good at countering it unless you're at the wall. Fang has advancing lows that counter up forward one. The face stab, similar like Steve's back one. It's a high counter hit launcher, so Fang can just go underneath. He has down two, he has down back three. He has um, his full crouch down two. He has a lot of moves that will just low profile or high crush and get completely around this key threat. So Noctis is too slow to deal with his advancing jab, or Noctis' key moves are too slow compared to the jab. His movement and his other moves are slow compared to back four. He can't easily counter hit a Fang that's attacking him. And he can't, this, in addition to this, he can't really backdash out of that, right? These advancing lows counter Noctis' main strategy, which is backdashing and forcing you to approach him. Fang's moves are all really good at approaching while standing one, leaps forward, lunges forward, and he has all the lunging lows as well. Fang does have a 14 frame down forward one. I made an error in my last video saying it was 13 frames. It's 14 frames. But even though it's slower than Noctis down forward one, most of Noctis' moves put him at minus. That means Fang has time to throw it out. It doesn't really matter too often uh, that it's 14 frames versus 13 frames. And even if he's jousting in neutral against Noctis' 13 frame down forward one, you just have to be one frame faster. This sounds like a meme, but it's not. And Fang gets a lot of plus one situations and advantage situations off of his lows, his jab, hitting a back four, things like that. And then I mentioned the advancing lows as a way of countering up forward one and the back dash, but they also generate advantage, frame advantage, meaning that Fang gets to continue pressure when he lands a poke. And because Noctis doesn't have the 12 frame generic down four or the 10 frame crouch jab, he's forced to use movement or defensive reads. And if you're playing a, against a player who's better than you, knee, uh, then it gets really difficult to continuously be correct. Not to mention that I play Tekken 7, which is less of a read-heavy game compared to the old games, right? Where knee was making reads constantly over and over again. Again, check out that video, knee's legendary jab, if you want to see that. Thanks again for sticking through the analysis. We'll get into the matches right now. If you enjoy this kind of content, please leave a like. That's really helpful. And let me know in the comments if you think I missed something. Let's get into the match. Long first to five. I have to turn down the volume because my subs were dropping a bunch of alerts constantly. But it's mostly arcade stick noises anyways. We weren't really talking when we were playing. And I'm going to try to avoid pausing and rewinding too much because it is a full first to five. But um, as you can see, Knee is playing really, really quick pokes. These advancing lows are coming into play here. I'll do a quick rewind here. Look at this. Generic down four, back four to control my movement. One, two, one. Lots of crouch dashes to get in. Just really lock in on what Fang is doing here to get in on me. I hit a back two on his sidestep. Little lucky clip there. And I start kind of flailing, right? But he whiff punishes with one, two, two. I'm playing down forward one, trying to control his advance forward. Playing my one jab. That was a miss input. And now he's just spamming the down two because he knows up forward one is my counter hit opportunity, right? And because he's been playing the jab so up close, I can't find my forward forward one plus two, my mid check, right? The mid counter hit launch. And look at this play here. He eats the back two and just does sidewalk right one, two, two. This is going to be a pattern. Despite Noctis' advantage, defenders can continue to move in most situations if it's a quick step block or a quick step jab, right? Quick step, I mean quick sidestep. So I start playing 2-2 because I know he's dashing in before he jabs. That gives me time to sneak it in. If I'm playing from that distance, I have time. The risk, of course, is if, you know, I whiff. But with these big sword moves, I'm not really whiffing. So knee switches off of the jab and just starts playing the crouch dash, okay? But look at that, the jab is still his primary move. And I know it doesn't look like a lot now, but the more data he gets on me as the set goes on, this jab starts getting ridiculous, okay? One jab, one jab. Look how much damage off he's get off just the one jab and the back four. He's not using those advancing lows because he doesn't have to. There, I clip him. This was a, you know, I gotta highlight my little small moments. They don't come very often. One jab stuffing the headbutt. He sidesteps to the left. My down forward one will track that way. I rip the extension because he has no rage, so I'm not really afraid of taking the punish here. And I'm on the board, 1-1. One, one. Now I'm playing my down forward one, and he plays the low immediately. Now he's just crouch dashing in my face and jabbing. The crouch dash is to induce me to hit a button, probably a 2-2, because again, my jab um, is gonna whiff because it's high. My up forward one's gonna whiff. So I either have to down forward one, or two to him and if he can induce me to do that with his crouch dash just his movement then he can jab me look at how i took all this damage quick rewind here that was 30 seconds of a lot of moving around but look at how he actually hits me down two, one jab he's trying to one jab again and then he just blocks one jab again 
one one three okay my two two is gonna get one two look like he's not hitting big mix-ups fang can be a crazy character as you guys probably know if you play ranked at all fang is ridiculous and mixing up doing a lot of crazy moves and uh overwhelming you like parrying you evading you and he's doing none of that he's crouch dashing to bait my response and one jabbing me one two sometimes one three sometimes and then when he knows this is what he's this is where he's placing the lows he doesn't mix up every time some players will mix up every time they have frame advantage what what knee does is he keeps jabbing me until he can tell that i'm like out of ideas like i keep getting jabbed and maybe i need to sidestep maybe i need to do like more back dashing and then he throws the low when my mind is not on the immediate mix up then the next time when i'm starting to think about it he does nothing there i get a nice sidewalk on his one two but still very behind and the time is winding down big shoulder but no punish man you gotta stay so sharp in this game i'm a scrub look at this down back three he tries to shoulder to whiff punish my while standing four he was slow and i didn't punish him but there we go two one on me playing fang fang i think was a really good choice against noctis i wish he picked that in evo but uh Steve was also a understandable choice for having no data on me. Down forward one, back four. After down forward one, I can't do much, right? This down forward one hits me, I'm zero. He does a 12 frame mid. What am I going to beat him with? A jab? Like, cool. All right. Do a down back three, and then I throw the up forward one, and he whiff punishes it. All of the pressure from the previous rounds of stuffing all my offensive options made me desperate to find a counter hit to stop this like offensive wall. And he's ready for the whiff punish. And look at that. Another whiff punish. Right here. One jab. Down forward one. Back two. He plays the mix up on a delayed timing, right? Back two is minus nine. He forward dashes and then does down two. This will chase my back dash. Um, if I do an immediate low parry and stand back up, it'll hit me. And then he does nothing, absolutely nothing, and lets me whiff. All of the pressure built up from before, and I just make a mistake. He just chills out. Simple backdash, instant while standing 1-2. All of a sudden, those the 2-1 lead is gone. Down forward 1, counter hit. Crouch dash again. Back 4 to control the movement. Down 4. So I start poking back with some down 3, because even though he's crouch dashing... Um, if he's just playing a lot of one jab, maybe I can go under it, right? Forward, forward, one plus two, trying to clip him. But now he's just blocking. One, two, instead of single jab. Forward dashes, a lot of movement just to try to get me to do something. It doesn't matter that he's not hitting me. And there I run into the forward four. It was just a matter of time. One mix. He's nasty, man. You see this? You see how little he's doing? I, and, and my thought when I was playing him in this set, especially as it goes on, is I knew that people played worse in tournament. I knew that people, you know, you, you travel, you spend a lot of money, you're not in your regular time zone, you're not at your normal setup, you're not around your normal people, there's a lot of social pressure, you know, yada yada. There's so many things about tournaments that are really, really hard. So everybody plays worse in tournament. I didn't realize, <laughs> this sounds so weird because I'm such a huge knee fan, right? I did not realize how good he actually was, bro. We had played Wonderful. a little bit before too, but as soon as this happened to me and he just jabbed me to death and made me make mistakes by just jabbing me, I really started to get the picture of, wow, this guy is actually so good. Look at this steak. He plays, it's not just that he plays safe. Amazing. It doesn't look very good from here. So much. It doesn't look very good from here, but it's really good. He doesn't have to mix up and risk dying going low. Why even bother? He doesn't even need to. I haven't shown you. Oh, you're watching this? My bad. Use Fang's lows. He does a couple down twos, he does a bunch of jabs, and then I'm whiffing. It's absolutely crazy. So my what I need to be doing here is probably blocking a little more, forcing him to go low. But I'm trying to, every time I try to hit him, it's not even just trying to hit him. Every time I try to just move around, I'm trying to play the game, and I'm getting hit. So I start spamming some 2-2. Two -two. He finds a jab timing again. And look at all these blocks. He does not care. Position change. He's just constantly in a good situation, blocking the 2-2 two -two off of the crowd. And this is what made it even harder, right? Mm. We're on PC. Look at this. He moves forward, forward, just little wiggles. These aren't forward dashes, they're forward wiggles. I cook with this knife. And look at this. He forward runs. It's my sharpest knife. Reacting to like the 2-2 and blocks. 
reacting to Noctis changing his position, I should say. It's not a reaction to like, this is a mid. It's like, I'm moving forward, and as soon as the other character model twitches, he stops. Oh, look at that. I got a knee jab. Here we go. He's moving at me. He's moving at me. I jab him out of the rage drive. Forward two, because I'm getting antsy. Break the throw, and now my back's to the wall. Ten seconds. I whiff again. This dude is ridiculous, bro. What did I whiff? I whiffed a jab. I whiffed a jab. I'm in the air. I'm dead. This is such a good choice to do the low. Launch punish doesn't matter on last hit, right? So why not just pick the low that has really good tracking? I can't backdash or like evade, <clears throat> and I definitely can't like clip him with my jab. He picked the perfect time to do the down to do the down back three. I'm. <laughs> I remember in this moment being so shocked, like, bro, what is happening? I can't find a window to hit him. Look at the, at the one time I thought, okay, he's going to stop jabbing. He's just going to backdash or do his little block thing. He hop kicks my, my forward movement. It's like he plays so solid, and he's controlling all of the windows where I can find an attack. In those windows, he will either jab me, or if he gets a good read, get a huge, like, blow me up. Get a huge read. And look at this. If he gets a good read, he'll get a huge read. Nice, VDX. Look at this. I'm in the corner, <laughs> right? So it makes sense that I want to get off the wall, right? He sees me sidewalking twice. Back four, back four. Stop moving. Stop moving. <laughs> like, jeez. This was good by me. Uh, you know, good if you want to put it one way. I 2-2 I two -two him here because I realize he wants to step away from the balcony, right? So he's, he's going to sidestep right, right? So I 2-2, two -two, which will beat both his, both his advance and any movement to get me in the corner again. Top choice but I don't want to get fighter. predictable with it, right? So I hit down like <clears throat> one, one plus two to track the other sidestep. And na None. naturally, I had the right read. Look at that. He steps the other way. I have to take my small wins here, okay? This guy, this is... The skill difference is so apparent. He's sidewalking and just chilling. Making me think I have a window here to attack, right? Sidewalk, I one jab. I backdash twice. I think he's chilling. I run up and I try to jab and he just beats me. <laughs> he just out jabs me. I really have to block a lot more. But again, the, just the, the threat of Fang on screen is creating this pressure. And the fact that I, it feels like I can't even like sidestep block. He's jabbing me out of my basic movements. Okay, a down three. Get around the jab. I tried to get him with a whiff bait there, and then I ducked. But that's how he got that launcher. Sidestep two. Okay, here's a move I have that I wasn't thinking about too much. Sidestep two. If I can sidestep the jab, get the two, put him at a, a situation for me. Here we go. Sidestep down two. I said, put him at a situation for me. Put him at a, like a semi-advantage situation for me. That's what I meant. Sidestep, beating that. Down two, nice. Chun -Li down from two's Fortnite. chopping at the legs. He can't low parry me. And if he's just <clears> jabbing <throat> me, I'm not afraid of getting counter hit or anything, right? So the down two is not a good adaptation for me. Down two again. Here we go. A third HP. Playing my 2-2. Two -two. And look at how he sacrifices advantage. 2-2 two -two is minus nine, right? He never yeah, there's goes three. something You're right high. away. Just a small sidewalk, sidestep left. And then block, and then keep it moving. He doesn't need to take his frame advantage like that. He doesn't need he poke with DF1. to force a mix-up on his advantage. He knows he's going to beat me in neutral, so he just chills out and lets me die. What the f What was that? 2-2. Two, two. Sidewalk left. Okay, so I block his down forward one, so I try to jab him back. But at the zero frame situation, he can sidestep right, and he goes for an, uh, a whip punish read. The fact that he did it like this, look at this. Down I'm forward looking. one, block. And look at Nii's character model here as I jab. My jab is coming out. The jab isn't even over yet, and he's already doing the attack. He knew I was going to whiff some bullshit and kill me. So I start playing down forward four, a little string mix up, but then he just back fours me. I don't have enough frames to do that. Sorry for smacking the mic. I don't have enough frames to deal with that. Good lord. 2-0 for Nii. If you want to see the rest of the video, <clears throat> check out my YouTube channel like quick sidestep movement i mess up my punish there and the block that's some like ps4 latency you'll see like when he's doing the down back three three you can block the third hit of this check out this video replay feature in tekken 8 this is a good video what's up you guys it's feedy x and in the uk red bull just ran this event called pin drop it is the first that we've seen of a bunch of new tekken 8 gameplay features we got customization we got Arcade Quest, all these things. But the big thing, I think, is we got a breakdown of practice mode from arguably the king of practice mode in the pro scene, Joey Fury. Joey is not only a very analytical player, but he is known 
for developing drills and sharing these on in public on Twitter. You know, uh, he has historically tried to get people in the lab and show people how to practice effectively. And I know this is a big issue for many people, including myself. When I hop into a new game, I want to hop into ranked. I want to hop in and play games. So what I think is really great is Joey Fury is not only going to break down how the practice mode works in Tekken 8 and how you can use it, but he's also going to share some really cool philosophy on kind of how to balance practice mode with the fun and enjoyment of the game. And uh, I think it's really worth watching. I'm going to let Joey speak and I'll react to some specific moments, of course. But Joey does an amazing job of explaining this and I think it must be highlighted. Check it out. Talking about optimizing yourself, we definitely want to learn. And we've got one of the best players in the world with us here to take us through how you can improve. Welcome, Joey Fury to London, my friend, my brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, Joey. So you saw the my replays and tips feature right now. Yeah, I mean, give us your thoughts quickly before we get started and what you're going to do. What do you think about this feature? It's revolutionary. It's game changing. <laughs> like, I was thinking as soon as they announced this, whoever can really make the most of it and like get into this mode and figure out how to improve themselves with it, uh, it's going to give them a tremendous advantage. We've never seen any feature like this in the game. Game. Uh, it just allows you to improve on situations that you'd probably never really be able to recreate in practice mode, or at least not easily. So he's talking about the replay feature. They they have a brand new replay feature in Tekken 8. We'll probably do a separate video on that, but it lets you basically capture moments in your matches and re-simulate them where you can jump back into the game at the exact moment where you got hit or you've missed a punish. You can recreate the game and control both characters. So that's a groundbreaking feature. I think it deserves its whole separate video. But Joey's going to talk about just the regular practice mode uh, where you could do most of your learning. Had there been situations like that? Jealous of a mistake? Because obviously, <clears throat> I mean, we know... You're the meter 2.0, man. You're like very analytical. Are there times where you were just like, man, I wish I could just get back into that and try something? So the main thing with that is like setting up specific angles or situations that are rare or difficult to recreate. So that's definitely a factor. Another thing is sometimes you're just a bit confused about what your opponent actually did to you. Maybe their character is a little unfamiliar. What about way. not being able to control your character against Eddie if you don't have him? Uh, I don't know what answer you want me to give. That shit sucks. It's really stupid. But I don't know what to do. You can get essentially access to exactly what they did to you. You, know? right, you don't exactly. even have to really fix I've never used 2v because I think it takes so long. Um, and... Um, I don't have like a tub and like the plastic bags and shit to me the thermometer was the quickest way and the reverse seer hasn't betrayed me so far <clears throat> Yes, I will make a defensive side shipping guide Figure I think I said in the video that I was going so to yeah use it. Um, Because obviously Tekken is a 3d game. There's many different angles because the move lists are so big There's so many different situations you get different pushback traps wake-up traps wall angle traps things like that and even for someone as analytical and uh, diligent as Joey who was trying to recreate situations, it can be really, really hard and sometimes even borderline impossible to recreate a situation that happened in a game. The new replay feature, again, separate video, actually captures that specific moment and re-simulates it. So he's saying it saves a bunch of time there. Uh, it's gonna show it for you. That's it. Well, I want you to show us something right now, sure. Joey Fury. We have the practice mode showcase, ladies and lads, and who better than Joey to show us and take us through the Tekken The steak all you eat in my effort to try to cook more my priority is to just cook things I like first and then expand when I naturally get bored. But getting in the habit of cooking is the first step. Cook first, get in the habit, break the habit of DoorDash and shit, and then from there, I can optimize. <clears throat> can you make a lily guide? Exclamation character guides. Practice mode. So I will hand you this controller, Joey. And you know, again, you are <laughs> you are one of the best players in the world. You just came fresh off the Tekken World Tour finals. You know, you're so close to that top eight. Um, talk to the people at home who want to improve and just tell them, you know, is practice mode important? Is it something they need to be using? Ah, uh, extremely important. Um, you know. If you're coming into this game new, this is the mode that you really have to familiarize yourself with. A lot of people immediately try to dive into matches and go Who into ranks, question? and that's obviously I didn't extremely see it. important. Again. But um, what this mode is going to allow you to do is have time to think about what's happening. Rather than this overload when you're in a real match, there's going to be so many attacks thrown at you. 
So it allows you to take things one move at a time, one sequence at a time. So yeah, we can start talking about the new features that are here yeah. and- So Joey hit a, hit a beautiful point. He says it gives you time to think and time to process. Joey and many other pros who are very analytical, like thinking-based players, We'll I like getting coaching for myself. So that yeah. tournament time, ranked time, competition time is flow state. <clears throat> you cannot be in a full problem solving mindset and execute combat like reactions, um, reactions and like movements, high APM stuff. Just the entire flow of combat is too fast for the active brain. So Joey will always say you need to be in flow state. You need to play almost by feel. However, that feel if you don't have it automatically on instinct, needs to be cultivated in practice mode, where you can think, theorize, and problem solve. And he'll show a bit of how he does that in a sec. And the old ones. I don't you... understand Lily, bro. I can skill gap people who are worse than me in Tekken, but if I fight somebody equal skill or higher, I don't know how to pilot Lily in that situation. So I still don't understand Lily well enough. You should be getting familiar with. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Show Take us how away. to show us how to optimize, and of course, there's so many options, right? So, walk us through this right now, Joey. And the Tekken Eight practice mode is so different, so that's why he's kind of doing this breakdown. Kazi right, or Devil so, I don't know. What we noticed right away that they've changed actually is there's this separation between offense. You're and welcome, long hair noobs. Here in training mode, so you're gonna have this like loadout of options here if you have <clears> offense <throat> set for training mode. Right. And you can switch to defense. It's going to set a whole bunch of new ones. So let's no, I haven't fought Trojan in eight. Yep. We have offensive training mode here, and right below it, opponent's actions. So this is how they're going to start to respond to you. So if I have them set the standing, they're just going to stand there, and I can practice whatever attacks I want on a completely vacant character. The third option here, though, is I can get them to respond. They've actually clarified this. So it used to just say action two. Right. Now it says action after a hit or a block. block yeah. So huge. this is interesting. You know, if I have them set to standing first, I hit them, I attack again. This is the second action, they're immediately going to block. Right. And there's even some new stuff here. You know, if you're returning to this game, if you see these options here, the one that I found most interesting so far is this option punish. Mm. This yeah, is I've never haven't actually seen that. Yeah. So. What it will do, there's a loadout underneath it where it says punishment settings. Hey, wow. So whatever oh, I thank do you, Krabby, to the Krabby dummy, for the training dummy, up, so I can make it immediately retaliate with whatever option <coughs> I set. So for instance, let's just record something. Yeah, I've just been playing ranked and chatting. So Joey is controlling the character on the right. Character on the left does the one-two string, and then Joey gets to record the punish he wants to choose. This is nice because Tekken, in, in when you're labbing some Tekken situations, sometimes you want to not lab your opponent attacking and then you doing something. You want to do something yeah, I saw you and see it, how the you. opponent can respond, right? Sometimes you can do a move that has like a pushback trap. You want to That's test two compliments punish, in a row. Right? I can't do a third one. As a result, out. that lets you test like a counter situation. <laughs> like say they're slow on their punish, you can do a quick duck and launch. There's a lot of options. I've had Wagyu, but I want to cool. cook with it. And this new punish training or punish action lets you skip the step of going back to character select, picking your opponent's character, and then doing the reverse action against yourself. It's Medium like, rare it, reverse it, this is a huge time saver. So we're going to record this movement. Now, whatever I throw at Kazuya here, he should. I think you have to jab and then down forward. Gotta jab him first. And so they mess up some of the settings here. They're just going to have to re recalibrate them. Or like reset it. Let's uh. So he has to go back here, change standing to block. standing block. Yeah, see the new features right now. We're still trying to. F oh, okay. okay we got, the I, got it, I got yeah. it. I got it. I got it. For me. There we go. Okay, so I did a little late. So yeah, Kazuya yeah. responds <clears throat> here. Well, okay, let me turn it down forward two block me. with the action that oh, yeah, was recorded. Yeah, down forward two. Back one back. Two. Gotta grab a drink. But Joey recorded it slightly late. That's why I didn't punish. There we go. Okay, so I did a little late. Yeah, yeah. You can see the idea. You can get him to retaliate immediately. Maybe even just a little learning curve there, but. Um, super interesting that this is in the game now. So how much do you feel that pros are actually going to use this practice mode? I mean, a new game is like they're going to live here. Yeah. <laughs> you have to live in practice yeah. mode. Um, you know, the big thing when takes I, a lot of work. I'm teaching anybody tech in or when I'm coming to this new game, my mindset is like, it sounds so simple, just learn the moves. Learn the move list, and this is the place you have to go to be able to pull up those move lists and just one by one figure out 
all of the moves, everything that you're going to be subjected to on defense. Yeah. Can we go a little bit through the, uh, the, the options on the left? We've got the practice settings, but we've got restart settings, display settings. I mean, these are all things that are returning, right? Yes. These are all returning things, but there's even new stuff here. I think, Spag, you and I were talking about there's a really big one mm, that yes. they've added here, and that is, remind me, I think under status record This here. one is... Oh, that's my alarm. So, so, this feature is... to use... <laughs> oh, bad. Uh, Remind me where to go here. Gotta go to the so. to the back to the main screen. Of the um. Damn, that's a DMCA song. I might get shit on. Um, <clears throat> medium rare, I like a lot. However, Jesus, I'm out of breath. <laughs> However, my priority is getting a good crust. For me, the crust that you get on the steak is the number one priority. So. Um, I will have a medium or even medium well steak if the crust is good. But that's the only situation. For me, I'm not a big tenderness or like texture person. I'm a flavor person. So that part matters a lot to me. I actually am annoyed because I think I'm not using enough butter. But I don't like using too much butter. <coughs> I read that chat message and it just registered. Have you tried your steak well done with ketchup? I read that and then it like registered and hit me. What the fuck? Get ready for the <clears throat> next Excuse me. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyways. What the fuck banned this guy? <laughs> Trump style steak. Get ready for the next Do not fall into the butter trap. Yeah. I'm getting no, I'm getting enough, enough crust. It's the flavor. I want a more buttery flavor, but I think I could just do some more salt. Cause my butter's unsalted. Yeah, I got Lily to got a destruction. I need to duck that. What the fuck? You know, like thyme and rosemary? I don't like rosemary that much, but I haven't tried thyme yet. Oh my god. Who the fuck is Gerald89? Don't be talking shit on my boy Gerald. That's crazy. Wow, the stakes slowed me the fuck down. Round three. Fight. Ah. Man, I'm slow. Dude. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I can't break throws either. Yeah, I need a jukebox for sure. Shall I shoot? You don't gotta shoot him. Gerald's technically in hiding. This is not Gerald level gameplay.
Back one is so sick. Once you get good with Steve, you're gonna like him more. If they buff Steve and nerf Lily, I'll probably play Steve. Steve is very Tekken 7, and that's more comfortable for me. But I wanted to play Lily because she's so strong. And I feel like it will get me used to the Tekken 8 system better. Oops, that was shitty. Can you really notice the difference? Yes. But it's a much smaller difference than it was in Tekken 7. Tekken 7, the difference was insane. And PS5 is actually a lot smoother. It actually is, like, I will take the latency oh, in exchange for the, oh, for the smooth feel. Oh. No, I can't break the, yeah, nice combo. My bad. He did the omen stance. Down back one plus two. Yeah, Gerald's been in the basement for too long. Oh, that's what I did. Oh, god damn. Yeah, you shit on. Oh no! Oh! Nice. Guys, cooking me, man. What? That's not a punish, bro. Even though he's your friend, I reported him. I, you got him, bro. <laughs> Are grabs stronger with the extra latency? A little bit, but it's mainly my skill right now. It's not that much harder. Nice duck. Uh, I need to play smaller and closer. Oh my god. Yeah, Prophet's account is so cooked, bro. Oh, my bad. Ah, try to parry. God. Oh God. Oh! Oh my God. I needed to do the the backslay. One, two, three, backslay. You think you beat me now? Probably not. I was really good at my other character. And I'm really bad at these characters. And me is really good at all these characters. Oh shit, I mashed. Up forward two is a great read. Oh my god, I'm ass. Oh my god, wait. He didn't duck! Ah! <laughs> I thought he was gonna duck, bro. Nice punch, Perry. 
I was back dashing. What's the punish for that, man? Ugh. Reaction! What's your Tekken ID so I can follow you and watch your replay and inputs in-game? Uh, I'm on the Lily leaderboard on PC. You can find that. You're golden. Unless you're looking for this account, in which case, if I broadcast my Tekken ID, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter anyways. People will find it. There's like a list of my Tekken ID somewhere. PS5 is more laggy. You think, why do you think is the reason why older players are still able to find success in fighting games compared to other esports titles? Um, what esports titles specifically? Because as far as I know, if you were good at CS1, you're good at CS2 and Valorant, right? So I don't know if that's necessarily different. Get ready for the next battle. Even if it's a joke, you shouldn't plug in the first place. I mean, that's kind of true, but also reporting does so little anyways. I would rather that there be a bunch of attention on the issue than my friend actually get banned. Wow, this guy does not want to block low, bro. That was insane! That's not even a reaction, bro. That was insane. I've never... Okay, yeah, look, that's a good hop kick. He probably didn't think I would do it that much, to be fair. Though, why is the animation so fast? Because it's out of a stance. Oh my god. This combo? Oh! Now I never have to do the low like again, right? Because he's looking for it. Oh, my bad. I'm so slow. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my jabs! That was fire. Oh, he could have got a gutter combo. No, he can't. <gasps> Making vids on ATL VODs allowed? Uh, I don't know. I think so. Oh, uh, I, I've done it before, but it was, uh, I've done it before, but I, they, I mean, I, that doesn't mean it's okay, it's just I've done it before. Do you ever do viewer VOD reviews? Uh, sometimes. Not a lot. Eat this body. He didn't say it. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God, I'm so slow.
Oops. I didn't mean to mash there. Yeah, I'm on PS5 right now. Oh my god. Hey, you died the second hit. Oh. <laughs> Raven has a 16 frame down for it too. Oh! <laughs> I need to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm gonna add listen to some music. Hang tight everybody. Brief break. Uh I'm gonna I'll do my uh intermission screen. I never really show this that often. Where's the music? Where's the music? Here we go. I need another Coke, too. That shit was good.
Hello. Wait, I forgot my Coke. Let me grab my Coke. One sec. All right. Can't forget a bump. You guys. You guys all think you're so funny. But you're all cringe and lame. The chat reflects the streamer. You're cringe and lame. Well, you're here ready for the next giving me your attention. So look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Game recognizes game. Okay. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Get ready for the next battle. Oreo juice MMM. Oh, mm. I didn't even do anything, bro. Fight. Oh my god, that's a mid. Bro, that shit is so lame. Wait, this this Coca-Cola actually woke me up, bro. Not sponsored, by the way. I would love to be sponsored by not Coca-Cola. I want to be sponsored by Cherry Coke. Option select. Ooh, boy. I don't know what that was, but that was cool. I actually don't know if that's an OS. I think it is though. Dr. Pepper over Cherry Coke? You have consistently horrible takes. <laughs> and you even put caught. You could just block. No, no, no. You like Hajime no Ippo? I do. Oh my god, he will not do the low, though. Dr. Pepper Goat, you just lame. Y'all seem to forget who's in charge here. Y'all think you're being real funny. I hold the power. Water is 10 out of 10 for real. But Coke is 11 out of 10. It's Hajime no Fipo, okay? Let's be real. What languages did you... What the... Okay, hang on. Before I get angry, does it still say that I'm a coder in my bio? Because I swear to God I've said a million times that I don't like talking about coding. But I don't want to get upset if it's my fault. If it's my fault, I won't be upset. I mean, I will be, but it's my fault, right? So I can't really be mad at a viewer. What the fuck? Coding is interesting though. Well, go enjoy the interest in it over there. Oh. Oh, damn it. Nothing in the bio about coding. All right, buddy. There's coding streamers. <laughs> Not only do I not really like coding, but I hate talking about coding even more. Notepad++ snitches on me? No, it doesn't. That shit is just a good text editor. 
Do you ever plan on making a Steve guide? Exclamation character guides. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? No, oh my god. What? Oh my! <laughs> what the fuck? Damn it. Final round. Fight. Tony, you the goat. I appreciate you. Anybody else want to talk about coding? <laughs> oh, definitely shoot that guy. That is blatant attempted ban evasion. I'm also dead. Definitely shoot that guy. Of all the people... Wait, not that guy. Oh, wait, yeah, that guy for sure, too. Don't worry, I'll take him out myself. Bagoosh. See you in 10 minutes. Oops. Oops. Is he just gonna parry everything, dude? Dude. Dude. <laughs> Are masochists. They like getting shot. That's the only explanation. Duck. Oh. Oh. They're getting 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make your lives as easier. Oh, oh. and died. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, that doesn't work. Damn it. Said no kill. I'm dead. Whoa. 
What if we talk about codas, like a musical coda? Uh, why don't you try and find out? See what happens. It might be fine. It might not. Who knows? Only time will tell. What the fuck? All he does is parry. It parries throws? What the? Oh my God. <clears throat> Get ready for the next battle. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna start shooting smart asses in a minute. I feel like that's fine. I feel like they know what they're signing up for. Yeah, pairing at the wall just gets them killed. Second content creation wouldn't work out. Would you have gone into a different field? Uh, I was in the coding field. What, what kind of question is that? You're looking at like you. Damn, Nina is bad, bro. Holy shit. My fault. This guy's name is SFM Queen. That's crazy. No, I haven't watched Shogun yet, but my friends are obsessed with it. Short filmmaker. <laughs> I'm getting stun locked, bro. Oh, fuck. Ah. I don't know what this name is, but it's working, bro. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Street Fighter Meta Queen. Oh, damn. Damn, damn. That string is so good. Ah! Oh no! I've been sidewalked! Okay, it's a masher. No more playing around. Sidestep was incredible. Die in silence. That was pretty good. I was so stunned. I thought I got hit. Oh my god, this guy's punishment is crazy. Wait, is he? Hang on. No, okay, yeah, they have special lines. Nina's his mom. His biological mom. Oh my god. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, are you trying to play fundamental or scrub killer stuff? A bit of both. In this game, scrub killing is doing like mix-ups for free. But also, I can get away with a lot of dumb shit for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god! No, I did the wrong move! <laughs> you win. <laughs> Nina, pause your online game. Is that his best 15 frame? Yeah. Round one. Fight. But I think it always kills. Wow. That was weird. Oh, he's just trying to, uh, she's just trying to do a, like, keep out launches. So I can just bait that. The leaf punish. You took the tweet? Oh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal to me, but I appreciate the uh, consideration. Yeah, Nina, wasn't Nina part of the Devil Gene experiments or something? Oh. No. Oh my god. No more playing around. Itachi just said, I notice you're fighting your mom. Isn't that a little scary? Oh my god, it just missed. Stick? I don't know. I learned a long time ago. It was fun for me. Video between PC and PS5? Uh, it would be like a one sentence video. Bro, the down jabs are killing me, man. But I know how to beat down jabs. Oh. But I know how to beat down jabs. But I know. <laughs> no! Man. Ah, oh, damn, 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 damn. Damn. Ah, oh, oh. My fault. I got infected. <laughs> You're trolling? Gee, fuck me, Sherlock Holmes. You could be a crazy detective. Oh my god, I'm ass. Well, now I'm gonna lose. And it's your fault. Ah! Oh my god, I'm actually just dead. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Can't charge? What did I do, man? I was just chilling. It's fucked up. I'm just hanging out. Okay, I wanna change. <coughs> I wanna change the jukebox. This shit is, uh. This shit is fucking me up. Now that you're going through each rank again, I already know what topics I want to cover for each rank. My impressions haven't really changed, but uh, it was a matter of me being able to talk again.
And now that I'm able to talk again, it's pretty exciting. Why, why am I thinking of the gift of sub? <coughs> All right, what do we do again? See if I can do it from memory. I don't think key charging, I mean, key charging became toxic. I think it's fine. I don't care that much. I think it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny, like, that energy to me, like, key charging. Ah! Add a quality, thank you so much for- Add a quality, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. Funny name. Made me do a second, like, double take. <laughs> Where's plucking tulips? There it is. How'd you mean no Hippo fan? I actually haven't finished it. I need to finish it. I just saw- I think I stopped on that episode or like one after. It's really good though. Plucking tulips into electric fountain? It fucking hits bro. Don't even uh... Don't even pretend. Or uh... Believe in the vision. <laughs> My brain is so gone bro. Not only am I playing this much Tekken, I'm interacting with this much Twitch chat, so my brain is cooked. Been waiting on a new season for years. The manger? What's with oh, the manger? Where's Karma? Karma, Karma, Karma. Um, yeah, you have a brain? <laughs> Got him, chat. A dot D, yeah, you know. Very funny. Dumb streamer. <laughs> Thanks for you two second. Oh, thank you, Maylogger. Uh, thank for appreciating my tips. Where's Tiamat? I don't play Tekken anymore. It's just Twitch chat. That's tough. I'm so sorry. You got the biggest downside of it all. We love you, really? I appreciate that. You know, I get a lot of comments that people say they love me, which is kind of a strong word. I definitely appreciate the sentiment. But I would definitely like it better if I were in a crowd of people and a bunch of pretty girls were saying, We love you, FDX. That would definitely hit harder. Because I just read it in text form all the time and I'm forced to imagine that it's a bunch of dudes. So instead, I think for my mental health, I've started imagining that it's a bunch of pretty girls. We love you, FDX. I love you too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. A bunch of ayayas in the crowd. <laughs> Where is this? Where is this song, bro? Here it is. <clears throat> when I was drumming, it was always dudes. Yeah, it, when you play drums, it's always the dudes, for sure. It's the same with the bassist. This was the most controversial pick I remember. I made this pick and everybody thought I was insane. And you know what? Maybe I am insane, but my music taste is good. I don't care. Delusional Reality is a crazy song. It's crazy to say what I just said and then just click on Delusional Reality. That's insane. Um, what was the one we picked here? Tunnel Disaster? I think it was Tunnel Disaster. Tunnel Disaster and then... Uh... Midtown Roars. And then Fiji. K. 
character select. No, wait, what? Yeah, aim to win, and then the menu is Dawn of the Beat. Dawn of the Beat is such a good song. Wait, where'd he go? Let's take a revolution. Where's Dawn of the Beat? Where's your sunset? Boom. Front swap baseline. All right, look at this. Playlist done. Can I turn the how command and exclamation how command? I was <laughs> no, bro. The point, the point is that it's supposed to show up every single time somebody asks me how to do something and in the rare case somebody actually asks how are you that's fine it's supposed to pop up every single time thank you Wizlin. am i crazy for using storm rising normal no i think it's kind of cool for character select why barefoot this is streamer steve get ready for the next battle how do I are you? Get ready for the next battle. My sister is a girl and she says she never heard you. That's fucked up. Fucked up because you didn't have to ask her. Or let me know that you asked her. But you chose to do both. He matched. Wow, that frame trapped my rage art. Lily is really fucked up in taking it, yeah. He's really good. What? Sometimes I still think about that chatter. They're still here. Oh my god, why didn't that work? IST Knee Alpha used to be my main lever. That was the right punish, he was just slow. Round four. Fight. You called? <laughs> He's from Kiss Land, you have no chance. <laughs> oh, that would have been fire if that worked. Oh my god, he just did it, bro. No way that reaches, bro. Ow. Oh my god, I'm ass. Spin away, spin away, spin away, spin away! Oh my god, I'm dead. How did you win? the best, bro. How did my move lose?
Oh my god, everything misses, bro. Damn it! Oh, calculated? No. Oh. I do not die here! I ducked. I not have ducked. That move is crazy, though. Oh my god. Thank you, Yukarin. I can duck the second hit of that. So much spinning. So cool. Ah! Ah! Ow! <gasps> no more! Oh! more playing around ah! Ah! Damn. Round four. Fight. Ha! what ha! Oh. Ha! douche 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 No more playing around! Smash! Got him. Oh! Punch Patty! Oh my god, I had him. Body! Oops. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ha ha ha! Now this is what I call fun! Fuck you! Why do we get this? <laughs> How do you stop playing Tekken, huh? Most fun having Steve player? Yeah, you know. Why don't you kick with him, you spammer? <laughs> Side steps are kind of cool. Oh, fuck. No. I'm dead. Oh, he fucked up. Oh, no, he did not fuck up. I'm dead. Oh. Oh, oh, damn, 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 damn. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh my god, damn, okay, bro, my bad. Jeez. My bad. <laughs> I did not have to keep going. Single jab was better. Oh my god, hang on. I didn't duck. No, the drill. Oh my god, I'm out. He got the combo! Oh, he fucked up! Oh my god. It's not over yet! That's not the line, but... <laughs> huh? I ducked, man! Oh god. Oh, it's 105 MS. I'm like, why can't I duck this? I get it. I understand. My fault. Not yet, Snake! A little too Australian, my fault. <laughs> wow, nice duck. I have not been in school in uh, like six years. I wouldn't take my tips for studying. I'm washed. Consistent on both sides, like uh, player one, player two. Yeah, I used to compete in offline tournaments. You have to be ready for both sides. My player two side is still worse, but. Ow! Fuck! Fire. Oh my god, I'm weaving! Uh-oh. Okay. There's a $50,000 DreamHack tournament? I think Janver was telling me that. Oh god. That up back two dick one, I mean duck one round. <laughs> you go Lionheart off of up back two? Uh, it doesn't matter either way. Oh, that was you that tagged me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember somebody mentioned it. Oh, wait. Do I win here? No. But this is what I call fun. Bagoosh. Um, 50k for each what? Dreamhack Dallas and a different Dreamhack? Top 8 quads for Gamers 8? Oh my god! Oh. Dreamhack Summer? I, I, I'm not winning that shit, but I might go and, uh, I might go and interview people. Oh. Our sides and tournament decided randomly by Rock Paper Scissors, yeah. Nice. Uh, 
I'm dead. With punishment, my favorite skill. Thank you for giving me a second chance. Oh my god. How do I make this combo cool? Not like that. You DM me the turn thing on Twitter. Okay, I don't have Twitter open. Can you do it on Discord? <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Yep, I made it to God of Destruction on Lily. <laughs> I saw that. I asked him to DM me the tournament details, and he DM'd me, I've been waiting for your sweet and sour chicken ass from Rush Hour 1. Why you accidentally got that on your clipboard? That doesn't make it any better. It would actually be better if it were on purpose. It seems weirder that it's on accident. <laughs> that sucks. This guy had to run into Gerald 89 on his... Oh, shit. That doesn't work. Oh, nice whiff punish. You do peekaboo cancel? Oh, just you think, just because I'm a Lily and a Noctis player, I got no fucking execution, hmm? Is that what you think? Think I can't fucking do a little plink into a throw? Check this out. Oh, uh, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. You practice it for hours? Oh, uh, I go really slow. I'm not doing it frame perfect. I'm doing it really slow. Right, like I'm doing it pretty slow. That, that's, I just want to make, oh damn. I want to make sure I get it. Thank you for the sub, Dread Logic X. Where his shoes at? This is the FDX costume. I don't wear shoes when I stream. I'm not a degenerate. That didn't work. Ow. Ow. Oh my god! He died! Nice. How come you didn't watch Shoeless Lily? I'm not a degenerate, bro. I gotta break the- I gotta beat the allegations. Oh my god, I can't break throws. Oh god! Do, am I dead? No? Oh, he's not me. Nice. Shitty ass punish. Oh my god, I just got hit. I respect it. Oh 
my god! Oh my god, my back dash! I'm dead! No! One chance. Nice, that was good. That was good. Oh man, I'm so tilted. I fucked up. My back dash got clipped. Damn it. The inputs? Uh, I mean, they're nothing unique. It's the same inputs in the video that I made. You just gotta be really uh, sharp. Dreamhack Dallas and Dreamhack Summer. What are the... What are the... Um, what are the dates of those? I mean a combo video. Oh my god, he got me. That was crazy. That was sick. Whoa. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, this Gerald guy's nasty, bro. I, I'm studying him. I'm trying to pay him for coaching, but he's kind of a dickhead. Oh my god, I got shot. Nope. When is DreamHack summer? Does anybody have the dates? Oh my god, it's swift. Bro! On the 29th of these? Oh wow. That was really funny, bro. See you in 10 minutes. Hope it was worth it. How do you learn to break grabs? I have a throw breaking tutorial. Definitely recommend checking it out on YouTube. June 14th to the 16th. Jeez, that's like right next to CEO, isn't there? Well, I'm not planning on going to CEO anyways. And I've never been to Dallas. Or I have, like, only the airport, right? Nice sidewalk, bro. Sheesh. Fight! 
Um, I was cooking. I was flow stating so hard. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Get ready for the, next the dates. Battle. May 31st to June 2nd for Dallas. Damn. Do we go to that? Gerald would go? Any particular reason you practice? No, I just pick it by default. Uh, I actually should practice against other, other people. What the fuck? He just opened with armor. Move. Enter the tournament as Gerald89? That I might be able to do. I definitely am not tournament ready as FDX. But I feel like I should go. What? I couldn't heat dash because I got crossed up. I held forward and then it flipped around. You gotta get a Gerald outfit? Bro, Gerald's outfit is my outfit. What do you mean? You're like Tekken's punk to God? What? How? <laughs> That's not me at all. <laughs> punk win shit, bro. <laughs> I feel like this is disrespectful to punk. I'm like Gotham Chess. No way you said my identity was choking in grand finals. Eat a dick. I fuck you. <laughs> Damn. You call that my identity? <laughs> Maybe he's right. Punk is my goat. Don't get it twisted. You need a new definition of goat. Damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. That was an interesting mix up. I mashed. Yo! Oh my god. This guy is playing exactly like a god of destruction Yoshi. There's no distinction. You and Punk's gameplay. Punk is a way more aggressive player than I am. I'm a really passive player. I'm learning still though. Yeah, Punk with Punish it is cool to me. Rah. He was in the air, fuck. No way, I'm dog shit. <laughs> How do you deal with Steel's pressure? In general, dealing with people's pressure is knowing which moves you're dealing with. So if you're just gonna call it pressure, it's a bit hard to troubleshoot, but you need to know what strings you're actually dealing with, which the repay, the repay, the replay tool is good for. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Man. He's the Brian F of Tekken. That's a closer comparison. But Brian F wins more too, doesn't he? Ow. Dude. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so bad. <laughs> ah, I'm slowing down. Oh my god. 
I like this mix-up he's doing, though. One plus two breaks. Somebody shoot that guy. <laughs> he said for anyone in the chat, good save. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> he said for anyone in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, where's the wall splat, bro? Fix the game! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. I would love to collaborate with them, yeah. Uh, it's more their availability, I think. He grabbed me out of the air? I don't know if you do that. Oh my god, bro. Bro! He was too far away! Lord Knight has been messaging me. I need to reply to him. I keep fucking- Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. Eeyo! Oh my god, bro. Does this whiff? This whiffs for sure. Oh my god, I'm actually... Is your skin supposed to look like Noctis? No, it's me. It's Streamer Steve. Oh my god, bro. Eeyo! What the fuck was my punish there? I did a Lily punish. I did 3-1. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Thank you for the reset. Backslash. Whoa! <laughs> I want to spell that a bit more carefully, bro. <laughs> God, I fucked up. Ah! No, that is so racist, dude. Oh, he ducked. Uh, thank you for the resub, long hair noob. Congrats. Hopefully, you hit the rank you're looking. Oh, well, that was fucked up. What do you mean racist? I mean oppressing me because of the color of my skin. Hopefully that's a clear enough definition of you. Or for you. Oops. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Oh my 
god. I'm beating up a green guy, but I'm not beating him up because he's green. Wow, I'm dead. Man, I could have rage arted, but I froze. I froze. I see how you look at him. Dude. Oh my god. Eww! Oh my god, wait, what? What's the Sonic? What you have a Sonic Fang Heat Dash? Uh, Peekaboo down two. Oh! Oh! Step, step. Oh shit! That's a tailspin. Optimal non-wall combo? Uh, I don't know it actually. I think it's this. And then you would do this into that. You ever tried Brian? Uh, I don't think I've ever listed Brian. But he is the coolest he's ever looked in this game. Flink Fuss Twitch. Thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, I got God of Destruction on the Kyle Zilla. Oh, wow. Dude. Okay. Dude, how do you punish that? I don't know how to punish that. Can you low parry it now? I thought he was airborne, so you can't, but I think somebody mentioned you can low <coughs> you can low parry that. Oh, missed my punish. The difference is pretty noticeable, but I'm doing okay because I've done it before. Can you lab stepping King's power crush? That shit is so fucking racist. Uh, which power crush? He has a lot. Oops. What are the shoes he's wearing? Did you guys see his shoes? Those are awful. <laughs> This one? Oh, wow. That was a good punish. Oh, 
Oh my god, that sucks. King is definitely the most obtuse Naz for sure. Is there an advantage to having more latency? No, it's strictly a disadvantage, but it prepares me for tournaments. Ow. Oh my, I'm dead. That's insane. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's crazy. What? My buttons are standard, 30 millimeter. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Going to Evo this month? No, not this month. I had a feeling he wouldn't punish me. I'm going to try to step this. For my life! Oh! Oh my god, he just did it. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel. I just got a message that really pissed me off. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Oh, that shit really pissed me off. Okay. Sixteen percent? Mm. 
Mm, okay, yeah. Uh, my four button is here, yeah. Get ready for the next battle. That wall of muscle can't... Is this the same guy? No, it's Vega. Okay. That is a ton of damage, bro. Ooh. Okay, how do I convert that? That's something we gotta figure out. No. That combo is so cool, bro. What do you like about Steve and Lily? Exclamation Y, Lily. And Steve, I played in Tekken 7. He fits. He's the closest to Noctis' style. Steve is the closest to a Noctis style character, in my opinion. Steve is like movement, do nothing, and then like counter hit and whiff punish. Get ready for the Why chill? Oh god, he tried to punch parry me? Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god, I died. So block and whiff punishment was the story of that round. I highly recommend uh, doing that. <laughs> oh, what? I ducked that. Brother, what are we doing? See, my like opinion on like purple and red rank hasn't really changed. You have to just block punish better <laughs> and like whip punish and run your offense and shit, right? This is what it is. That's a hard situation. I should just low parry and do the combo, but... Sick. His low mid string is minus 15, yeah.
Closest to Julia, Reyna. 100% Reyna. If you're talking about playstyle. Oh, I ducked. Oh, that sucks. Who is the hot Brazilian chick that was like, oh, Christy? I miss Christy too, bro. I'm a Christy stan in private. Like, I obviously can't associate with the community because they're insane, but I am secretly a Christy stan. I hope you guys weren't looking up to me. Christy is fire. Will this gameplay be on YouTube? On my VODs channel, yeah. I really wish they would add Christy in this game, bro. She'd be so pretty in Unreal Engine 5. Special style? He tried to rage art. That sucks. Why is it hard to rank up with Devil Jin and Kazu? I almost want to rank up with Devil Jin and Kazuo myself to see if I can prove that wrong. I don't, I, I don't know if that's true. Oh, nice. What do you think of Steve's new stance? It's funny. I like dancing. I played Kazuya to Tekken God Prime in uh, Tekken 7, so. Oh my god, bro. Wow. <laughs> Ow. Well, that sucks. What happened to Wang? He fucking died in Tekken 6, I think. Ah, oh, so slow. Oh my god, bro! Man. Oh, shit! Ow! Back one is insane tips on landing it. Uh, the less you do it, the more it'll hit. And the more you do it in neutral instead of off of situations, the more it'll hit. It's also built on the fear of like whiff punishment, right? Like being able to backdash and whiff punish sets up your counter hits better. Uh, my law is horrible. You don't want to learn from my law. But watch Speed Kicks' his stream VODs. He played law to God of Destruction, I think. Get ready for the next battle. Win rate? I don't know. I don't track win, win rate. He was on crack with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays so fast. Can you make up Dragonov next? Uh, I recommend watching any Dragonov except mine. <laughs> Tony's getting Dragonov. Hide Tone? He's getting Dragonov to God of Destruction. I think he's at TGS now. His VODs will probably be pretty good. Low parry seems low commitment. Why ever low block? Because the punish is better on low block sometimes. Low parry does no damage in this game. Are you going to get Reyna up next? No, I'm not that interested in playing Reyna. She doesn't really fit my style. For multiple reasons. So you see how this guy is blocking a lot? The guy who asked about landing Steve's back one? If I just back one a bunch, I'm not going to hit him, right? It's not going to work. Well, maybe it will. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. New example. It's hitting him because he's doing a lot of like sidestep button, right? Or he challenged my jab. I didn't think it was going to work because he was blocking a lot, right? But if they waste a lot of frames sidestepping... See there, he did sidestep button. I can back one that. But um, the uh, the general way you land more back ones is like you do back dashes to get them to like run into you, right? Because if they have to chase you, it's weaker. They have to chase you to avoid whiffing. I didn't mean to do that. That was fire. Right? They have to chase you, so you can land counter hit down forward two as they approach. Or you can whiff punish them for doing that. An ass, right? So that's kind of the like the neutral way. Uh, you can also like in Tekken 8 though, moving backward is less good. So you can move forward and just block. It's pretty scary to do this because of the launchers, right? But it's built on that fear of whiff punishment. 
So if he's afraid of whiffing, he's going to run in like that. He's going to chase my back dash and then do his attack. And that makes it really easy to land a back one. Because you're just running away, letting him follow you, and then hitting back one. That was fire. A great example. Right? And then you can attack to kind of incentivize them to play more. And then when they're chasing you like this, they have to get through your wall. The other um, really, like, back one can be hard to time sometimes. So one, two, one can also help a lot when you're running away. So here, I don't want to do all that. I just want to kill him because it's just a few hits. Right, so I'm not going to try to back one there. But start of this round, I'm going to just back dash and see what happens. There we go. He had to chase me, right? That's like the fundamental Steve uh, shtick. I don't know how to get the wall here. My combos are ass. <laughs> yeah. Right, so he's running and chasing me. I'm going to hit some down forward twos. You can also do one, two, one. One, two, one is really good, except for high crushing lows like that, right? If they go under one, two, one, then you're fucked. Oh my God, I'm getting blasted. And sometimes you lose. Sometimes you lose just backdashing, right? So let's try again. Counter hit down forward two. I'm playing in his face a bit forward, back one. So that was a back one with frame advantage. He did one, two, so he was minus. <laughs> He's mashing on my jab. Right, so there's like the fixed situations where you have frame advantage. And then there's the neutral situations where they're trying to chase you or time their attack to avoid whiffing. Those are the two like styles of back ones I can hit. Oh, he's dead. Hopefully that helps. Uh, if he plays me again, I'll try and demonstrate it again. Nice, sweet. Yeah, so, so Steve's other thing is down forward two is crucial. Even though it's not that good in this game, it's to stop people from doing the high crush. See, he did QCF3, which would have beaten my back one and my one, two, one. So I have to down forward two there to counter hit him. Right? If you're a brand new player, though, you probably should play these fixed situations, right? Like get a plus frame off jab and then back one in retaliation. I think that's probably a better fundamental way to play Steve early on when you're still learning movement and stuff. But what you're seeing all the Korean, like high level players, Steve, high level Steve players doing is that. They're moving around, getting you to chase them, and then counter hitting when you run up. And I'm fucking up because I'm hitting it on wake up. So another thing is like you want to play from the neutral, not from getting up off the ground, not from finishing your combo necessarily. Neutral situation here. Try to find a counter hit. Oh, oh my God. He keeps charging it, bro. Oh, I tried to snipe his, uh, I tried to snipe his uh, death fist. The bag one. Round start back one isn't bad. You could die for it, of course, but... Oh my god. Okay. But yeah, Steve can't just run away and do this as much as he used to. You do kind of have to play the game a bit. So 1-2-1 one, one at close range. Down forward 2 is also really good. I'm just going to go mid. And then just kill him low. You don't have to hit a back 1 to kill. Also, having a health lead on Steve is pretty important. Because if your opponent's good, they can run away with the health lead and Steve has to attack, right? But as the... Uh, the Steve with the lead, you have as much initiative to attack or not attack as you want. But knowing which frames you have that are plus or minus is going to be so important. Oops. Like there, that, that knee is minus, right? So if I back one after and he presses a button, he dies. So you have to know like some defensive stuff. Oh, I ducked. Death Fist punishes that. I mean, uh, oh, I had him. He got me. Nice. Yeah, Steve is a defensive character. You can play him aggressively, but his game is so low reward for the offensive stuff. Like, that's a launch punishable low. This is a launch punishable low. He gets no damage for it, right? He gets all his damage off of the counter hit game. Steve is at his scariest right here when nothing is happening. Because you can get jump scared and die, right? Steve is not as scary if he's swinging into you, right? Because if you just stand block, nothing happens, right? 
Steve's whole archetype is built on getting you to retaliate or try to play at the wrong time. Oh, I had his ass. Yeah, Steve is really well designed. And this running two is also crucial because he doesn't really have a low. Like he doesn't have a low that's super scary, right? So doing a plus six into threatening counter hits is really, really strong on Steve. So Steve is really good. One, two, one, back one and down for two, your best friends. And then in this game, you do have to play a bit more, right? So like you can't just move around doing this. One thing I like to do with Steve, last thing is his two, one series is a really good like noob killer. There's a specific sidestep to get around this, but if you do 2-1 back, he goes into flicker, and this is flicker, 1, forward, 1. Right? So this string is really good just for making it so your opponent can't play for free, like just putting hitboxes on the screen. This is jailing, so they can't duck the second hit if they block the first hit. Uh, and then it can also go into peekaboo, so 2-1 forward. So I recommend moving around a bunch, back 1, down forward 2, 1-2-1. One, one. Running 2 is really, really good. The stomp is pretty important. You don't have to learn this cancel, but it's pretty nice. What you should learn at least is ducking out of the... Duck canceling out of this. The stomp. Uh, and then yeah. And then you'll have to learn a lot of defense. Um, some key frames. When Steve hits 1-1-2, one, one, he's plus 4, right? So back 1 frame traps a jab. QCF1 is also super good. My bad, I missed this one. QCF1 is really good. At the once Steve gets to the wall... This is a true 50-50. QCF1 and then down back 3. They're both the same speed. So you dash and then you do QCF1 or the stomp. So Steve's whole thing, move around a bunch, don't commit. Because this right here, Steve is scariest right here. Back 1. As soon as you put hitboxes out, Steve is less scary. Uh, down 1-2 is a good low. Or down 2-1 is a good low. Duck cancel it as well. And then I recommend using Steve's heat as well. The clinch is really strong. So like if you're in heat, I'll do this. Most people just break one. But if they decide to break two, I think you actually get more net damage. Because you get a guaranteed Sonic Fang into Peekaboo down two. So. Steve is like definitely working harder in this game. But he's still very, very good. I think that's all I have. Short Steve tips. Hopefully that helps. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, I have to get off soon. You're going to get jumped? Yeah, probably. Oh my god, I didn't mean to block that. That was cool. Oh, I missed my whiff punish. Where am I based? I'm in mountain time. Tom Pocket, thank you for the sub. Why are you based? How are you based? There was a whiff punish there I needed to get. Duck that. <coughs> We're going to Dallas, you're coming with us. <laughs> I might just restream that shit, bro. You can restream for the hotel. <laughs> I have everything booked. You book a room for Patty. <coughs> I don't know if she wants to go, but she probably would. I can't abandon her just uh, willy nilly. 
Oh, my peep burst. I'm dead. Okay, wait. He could have done a better combo. <laughs> this is a business trip. How many days is it? How many days is uh, DreamHack Dallas? Don't do don't do the peekaboo one too. Do uh do the flicker one. I think the frames are better on the flicker one. Friday to Sunday, but we're arriving arriving Friday. Tournament is Saturday Sunday. It's only the winner who gets into Gamers Eight, right? Not top eight. It's just the winner. Yeah, peekaboo two thousand good. All eight in the top eight get to go to the esports World Cup. I gotta get off Steve. <laughs> I'm trying to rob some people with Lily. You think I can rob some people with Lily? I think I can. Oh. Oh, I had a way better combo I could have done. He could have killed me. Combos. I don't, I'm not prepared, bro. I have what, two months to prepare? Competing seems so troll. That seems really troll. Oh no, don't do that. Oh. Gamers 8 is some shit. Yeah, I would want to go to Gamers 8 for sure. If we manage to finesse speed to go. I mean, yeah. Figure out that part. <laughs> Up back two, frame traps back one. Oh, you mean I'm blocked? Yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck? You think Gerald even not? Yeah, Gerald, I think he did, bro. I'm not gonna lie, he's a, he's a competitor. What? I didn't want to do that! Oh! I didn't want to do any of that! <laughs> what? Gerald! <laughs> Keep it together! I didn't want to do that! I tried to do the fucking other shit. Ready for the next <laughs> I really did not mean to do that at all. <laughs> I did not mean to do that at all. <laughs> the spirit of Gerald took over. <laughs> That's insane, dude. The Gerald toxin. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that at all. Jesus Christ. I gotta use the bathroom, I'll be back. What the fuck? <laughs> that was insane. That was like the green goblin moment. All right, hang tight, I'm using the restroom. It's music time. Any requests? Just kidding, I don't care about your requests. Be back.
People return. I have 40 minutes left. <laughs> All right. Fujin, huh? I should probably rank up a little faster. Get ready for the next battle. Slim Dubby. Hmm. The song was Relax and Reflect, Pensive version from Final Fantasy 15. My code is washed, Fuji. Bro, Gerald is not washed. Gerald is just waking up. You missed some crazy shit. Oh. Oh my god, I got shit. I ducked that, man. Huh? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If we're going to Dallas, I need to switch to Lily immediately. Oh, wow. That was good. I need to switch to Lily immediately. Oh, my God. No. I should parry that. Oh my god, this guy's a hotkey genius. I still don't know if I want to go. Oh. Stop. No. Okay. A punch parry! No. What? What? Okay. Happy birthday on the lows. Just go for practice? A lot of money to just practice. Don't need a hundred if you go. Damn, that will cover a lunch. That'd be cool. See so you at Coachella. Are you going to Coachella, bro? Get ready for the next battle. You am you actually are. Holy shit. Isn't it good to grip a sense of how far the others are? My development has nothing to do with the scene around me necessarily. I am really focused on my development, and I don't think comparison is what I need at this time. Also, I can just watch the matches. I don't think I really need to play to compare, but you know. Ah. First Coachella? Oh, have fun, bro. Uh, bring good walking shoes. That shit fucked me up. My whip punishment. Do you want to play? Sure. Ah. I need to wake up. Oh, he could launch me.
All right, sounds good. I have like 40 minutes, so. Oh my god. How do you fight Nina, bro? Well, I would love to answer your question, but as you can see, there's not really a Nina on the screen. So I'm curious if you are looking for me to just drop everything I'm doing and maybe help. <laughs> oh. But I'm sorry you're feeling frustrated. Oh my god, I ducked! Uh oh. Hey, DM me your friend code? Oh, yeah, let me find it. I'll finish this match and I'll DM it to you. Jin constant mix up pressure. Jin dies to a lot of like small, fast pokes. And if he decides to play his pokes, then you sidewalk left. Yeah. But this Jin player is kind of cooking. I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. You talked about questions you hate for like 25 minutes. I heard you read those exact questions in chat at least 30 times in the last hour. You know. The people here understand where my sanity is going. There. Oh my god, <laughs> that was crazy. You ever practice on Pizu side? I'm about to because if if I'm going to a tournament, I need to be ready. Shitty ass punish. No. me in rage he did not put me in rage one two three oh one two three four one two three four one two three four oh i'm dead <laughs> fuck all right i send tony my friend code did you plug your stick yeah my stick is plug and play into ps5 Let me send him my code and then do my customization. I don't have the crop top, you guys. Thank you, Nudo Shifu. Appreciate that. No crop top is really sad. Why do I have a Jin character, man?
Are you ever going to do a 24 hour stream? Not in the near future. Because of my daily upload schedule for YouTube, it'll take a special occasion for that. I did 72 hour stream. I did a 72 hour stream when, uh, when, uh, the Tekken 8 beta first came out. And that was pretty fun. <clears throat> Thank you, Hot Water. I'm doing all right. Would you rather play Tekken on PS5 if you have a PC and get much better? Uh, because tournaments are all on PS5. And I can't control what they do in tournaments. Hello, Momo Dog. I don't have the crop top yet. have it on PC. I saw me playing Lily. That was really cool. You're such a coomer. It's unbelievable. Well, believe it. In the words of Naruto. My girlfriend gave me the tech. She said Lily looks good in pastels. So we've been going with pastel colors. Down three, yeah, down three is goes crazy, really, bro. Are you putting on a pastel? So eat a dick. I hate you. Pastels are a cheat code in general. Maybe so. Maybe so. Oh my god, you can change the color of the fraying? I didn't know that. That's insane, bro. I did not know that at all. What is this gold thing? The button? You can change the color of the buttons? That's crazy. You tried to say so yesterday? My bad. We were getting blasted by a bunch of, you know, crazy people wanting me to take the shoes off and shit. Like you're going ham with the crop top? Uh, I'm on PS5 right now, so I don't have the crop top. Is X Tahoe also your local? Man, I feel so left out. Oh, Tony, I told Faye about you, and she said, can you ask him if it's okay if he, like, meets up with me and, like, talks on camera and shit, so. Dress up nice, bro. Or, you know, as nice as you want. <laughs> Thank you, Summers. Wouldn't it be funny if Lily didn't wear shoes? Haha. -ha. Oh no, he's back! <laughs> Isn't that depending on the screen you're using? Why do some clothing options have crazy color slots? Oh, player match invitation. Can I turn off those notifications? Or am I forced to see it? Gerald 89 goes so hard, bro. Pause stream, all right. That was undeniable proof that we totally own Jeff Bernie, thank you for the sub. And Euro TK, thank you for gifting a sub. Tom Pocket, thank you for subbing. Blink Fuss Twitch, thanks you guys. Sorry, I missed those. Dragon 
My god, that kills? That's insane. <clears throat> Crazy. Sack of dudes here killing me, bro. What? Wow. Nice. Really dying to sidestep down for two. Like a bitch! Yeah. Round one. Fight. Oh. Wow! That sucked. Oh my god, I get in tech roll. Hey, <laughs> you got me. Oh no! Casual stroll over the pickup? Yeah. Oh, I tried. Oh! Oh, that was really fucking good. <laughs> Damn it. It sounds like Dragonoff saying Gerald when he does uh, the uh, when he does the uh, hatchet kick. Damn it! I got shit on. He fucked up the combo so bad. Gerald. <laughs> you know. Oh, 
Oh. Oh! Damn. Is there a way to visually know you counter hit someone? Depends. But it always shows a pink hit spark if you do. My bad. Bleh. Bleh. What? Well, that sucks. No. Hmm. Thank you, Bradison, for the sub. And Chief Bernie. Good. You lurker for a while. Welcome. Oh, I blocked that. Oh, shit. Oh my god, nice with punish. This outfit's supposed to be power from Chainsaw Man. No. I do not like power. I don't know why everybody was obsessed with her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the damage. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead as shit. Ah! Round three. 
Your friends told you you're shit because you play Dragon Ball. You can say they're shit friends. Unless it's actually not that serious. Oh my god, where are we? Bleh. Oh. Ow. Man. Oh my god, that fucking sucks. Okay. I didn't get some hate in Tekken 7 because he sucked dick, bro. That character was horrible at the end of Tekken 7. He's not a real character. Round one. Shortest move list? Probably Claudio or Azucena. Okay. Oh my god, I have to duck that. Ow. Bro. Oh my god, lucky me. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. That was fire. Damn it. I'm the best. That was fire. Wow, that sucks, man. Nice over. <coughs> Ow. Oh my god. That sucks. That string is so good. I should probably use my one one more. man no Oh god. Man, I did a dash into down one. It may be the end of my life because of the owl. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Why are Lily's combos inconsistent? It just takes a bit of extra work. block nas block into eat hop kick <laughs> that's so fucked up lily i think is actually a high elo killer <coughs> i think at low elo people don't respect her stuff and she doesn't have like i mean she's good right don't get me wrong but I think it's easier to beat stronger players with Lily than it is to beat weaker players with Lily. Oh, I died. I'm dead as shit. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I sidewalked, bro. What do I do there? Ah. 
That's insane. <laughs> that pushback. this character man fuck <laughs> I did not like Lily and Tekken 7 at all Oh my god, the wall saved me. Oh my god, the wall saved me. Fire combo! Oh my god! Oh my god. Stop! Oh my god, dude! I not know how to handle that situation. That sucks. Damn it. I could have won. I think 3-1. I think I had to do 3-1. Should have rage arted. Maybe that too. Fuck. My bad in the hop kicks again, you know, that's a lily shit. Insane. 
Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted forward four, but I got mixed up. Ow. 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 Oh my god. Yeah, crouching optic is still 15. Nice. Wall splat. Ow. No! No, 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 no! Ah, oh, one, two is so loud. So good. Where's the wall, bro? Oh shit! I got fights like a somebody. Yeah, I saw that tweet. That tweet is funny as fuck. Oh dear. Ah. What a mash! Oh, I died. You got me. <laughs> Oh. Oh shit. Whoa, I got shit on. No! <laughs> hey, confirming off the heat gauge. Uh, it's, it's called medium difficulty. I just stopped focusing on it. Every time you throw out the back one, you should kind of like be ready for the boom, you know? 
Nej. Oh, good DF2. That's a good number two. Why not train on PC then play on PS5 for tournaments? Because you want to train on what you compete on. It's why Pakistan is so good. The slight differences make a big difference in tournament. Ah. Man, I fucked up. It's like if you're a tennis player, would you change rackets right before your tournament? Turn to Mickey Mouse for a second. More like court type? No, it's everything. Your own moves come out slower. I think racket is actually a good analogy. Thank you for trying to correct me, though. Track the step that way, yeah. It's fire. That was fire. What's up, Aaron Heron? Oh! Oh my god, that was fucked up. Oh my god, I had him. Damn it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go for the mix right away. Yeah, I got, got a distraction. That being said, can you actually feel the difference? If I couldn't feel the difference, I wouldn't do it. I didn't break it? I'm dead! Nice block. Fitty fitty. Fitty fitty fitty. I soiled it. I threw a bunch. What's up, Fran? Round one. Fight. Claudio specialist, Shadow 20Z. One of America's best. Nice step, dude. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, no fault. I understand what I'm dying to. Now we need to implement it. Tekken on console actually feel in this game it feels better. In Tekken 7 it felt worse. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, nice combo. Wow. Oh, nice. That's unfortunate. He lost the game off that, like, with that combo going. Ha! <laughs> 
Ah, he knew I was not gonna bet. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! No! How am I surviving this, bro? He did it again! Fuck! Yeah, I'm playing better and worse at the same time. <laughs> Which sounds weird. There are things more comfortable that I'm more comfortable with and things I'm less comfortable with. Hello, Vice L. Um, respectfully, uh... I don't see Steve on the screen right now, so my brain is not really thinking about Steve. And I'm not sure what heat engager you mean, so that question is really hard to answer. Man, that move is really good, bro. Good punish choice. No. No. Oh. That kind of thrown out of my jet. Why a duck there? Oh, and dash block. Not smart. Is really good in this game, dude. Lily is really, really good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Man, these crucial decisions are just killing me. Okay, I blocked that. Trying to grab me. <laughs> this game is so fast, it's crazy. is so broken. Oh. I like that throw choice, actually. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Counter hit throw again. Counter hit throw is really good. Mm -hmm. 
That's so insane. I could just do that. Jesus. That naturally hit in the side. Which thing? Converted. Ow. Hit confirm off the counter hit. Oh, what? That was weird. God, that is dumb. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what is Lily, man? God, this character is so dumb, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, honest character. Honest character. Honest character. I ducked. He got me. I ducked. I ducked. Round two. Fight. Oh. This guy's a molester. Oh, I'm too slow. No! Oh. Unless I have the crouch cancel, I'm getting shit on. Oh my god.
Oh my god, Lily. <laughs> Why did they give her that, man? What were they thinking? I'm dead. Heat, sma heat, heat smash is really good. Or heat burst is really good, bro. Nice swift punish. Mods, if you'd like, we can make a 21 minutes for the Uber. Mods, if you'd like, we can do a PS5 command. And just say like it's for tournament. Yeah, people don't read it, but at least instantly we somebody can answer. Oh, oh, wow, he gets a good burden. Oh. I think he tried to punch bury it. Okay, I, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I get it. And this is going to cost me a lot of HP. Dude! Dude! <coughs> Lily is so gross, man. GG's. Dude, that is fucked up. That is actually insane. Okay, my, my ride is way too late, bro. Wait time was too damn long. Find another driver. <laughs> GG's. Zenpai, thank you for the 100 bits. Buff drag nerf Lily. For real, dude. That was a fucked up set. That was a really fucked up set. You still play like, yeah, you, like you, you did all these little dash blocks. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hit buttons. You can't donate. Have you tried signing in to the thing? <coughs> I think the Streamlabs thing forces you to sign in. What does it say when you try? What does it say when you try to sign in? Oops. Bre? 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 Arada is watching. <laughs> uh, I think I have to go soon, you guys. Not enough tipping data? Wait. Wait, let me see. Let me try my own page. Yeah, this is the strongest Lily has ever been, bro. They keep buffing her. Like I'm talking about since Tekken 7.
more Reyna videos. Do you still do coaching? Uh, not open coaching yet. Okay. So I see here it says not enough tipping data even though I'm signed in. Let me see what it says. Streamlabs not enough tipping data. Wasn't 6.0 Lily stronger? Um, I don't know if 6.0 Lily was stronger. I didn't play at the time. I think that's an okay shot. I think it's okay to shoot somebody who's hating. I'm Lido. Thank you for the sub. What's up, Billy? Let me try again. Anakin's videos are too advanced for you? Really? I didn't mean... Sorry, that, that, that sounded more aggressive than I meant. I meant like... I see his stuff as pretty accessible, so that was surprising to me. That was surprising to me. That Come on, guys. Don't be... Difficult. <laughs> not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Not what I meant. Fuck you guys. I appreciate that you find my content more digestible. I appreciate that you find my content more digestible. That is, means a lot to me. Let me try my tipping thing again. Your tip page, okay. For some reason, it's under FeedyX1. Let me see if this fixes it. Okay, that's the same link as before. Is it on my end? Do I need to set it up? Am I the problem? Oh, my PayPal wasn't connected? No way, bruh. Is that really the issue? Let me try again. Thank you so much, Sunny, by the way. You don't actually have to donate 50 bucks to the winner, but uh, I appreciate regardless that we get to troubleshoot this. What's going on here? Um, I'm waiting for my Uber, which is 13 minutes away. You need a PayPal business account? Did I convert my account? And I do... You can have a personal and a business. Yeah, but I, I just need to set up the business one. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I think I was stupid. I think when my Streamlabs data got erased, everything else got erased. Can you see if it works now? I think it works now. I think all of my shit got erased, but we should be good now. 24 hour stream when? Uh, with my YouTube schedule, I can't really do 24 hour streams. But if for some reason I have a week's worth of YouTube content or something, or I'm like at a tournament, then maybe I can. You see it now? Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to give you 50 for the great content and you duck in the... Oh, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so we have a new YouTube video coming out as we speak um it was the interview with spag where i asked him about pakistani tekken uh it's a really good one it's super long form but it's time stamped <laughs> so if you guys decide to check it out uh please leave a like and a comment that helps me out a lot and uh yeah I'm gonna send you guys probably if okay yeah so I don't know if you guys play RimWorld but my mod Shishi is streaming RimWorld, RimWorld. Shishi's been my friend for like four years and uh, they have found themselves uh, 
live streaming like uh, a lot. So hopefully, no, <laughs> no fucking way. Lily Footlick Disciple said Rimworld. The content. Anyways, that's a clever joke, by the way. Uh, F of FDX. That's pretty clever. I like that. That's the kind of joke I like. Uh, in any case, we're gonna raid Shishi. Uh, feel free to go to another Tekken streamer if you like. But Shishi's pretty funny. Definitely recommend hanging out. Thank you for supporting me today. We will be back tomorrow. Please check out the YouTube video. And I think that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Flash sap. Hey, see. Thanks for the raid. Um. Yeah, that's a lot of you guys. Uh, welcome, raiders. I'm Shishi. Currently playing some Rim World, but I also played some Tekken as well. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, a lot of you. How was stream today? What you guys do today? My uh, my alerts are doubling up. I need to fix that. Thank you though. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. You guys are all doing well. The sex off. W alert sound. Alright, and we need to leave. Oh shit, by